Trophy Champion and Streamer Showdown Champion, Vice Captain America himself, Zelo! Yo! How you guys doing today? My name is Sealand! We're gonna play some football manager and then we're gonna play some Red Dead Redemption. In that order. Any questions, class? Hey, come on, man. Don't want to get yourself banned. It's all right. Finn Laverton's stream is actually my stream, so it makes sense. You know, it like totally checks out. Finally made a stream. Good evening from Norway. Good evening. To all five million Norwegians out there. This one's for you. What's up, Iyer? Blue Racer with the 11 months. Part of the installer and part of the download is you get you get the filter for the, the regens. I promise you're able to figure that out. Cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. New one's coming out tomorrow. You get to try and figure out what that video is. The mystery abides. Why don't we play Red Dead while we play Football Manager? This just in, the fastest way to kill your computer. Play Red Dead Redemption and Football Manager at the same time just to guarantee your computer's untimely death. That's probably why. If I had to guess, what's up, Brooks? It would be the untimely death of the computer that that would cause. Ja, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. <laughs> I just accidentally downloaded a couple of things while back streaming. Grave. Sloth is back from the grave, dude. Yes. Thank you for the four months. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Uh, the hammers. Exclamation. What is it? What is the freaking exclamation point? How many hammers we got right now, y'all? Hammers? Ah, oh, yes. There are 1,200 hammers on the face of the earth. I figured it out. Okay. I figured it out. That is literally with me not streaming for two and a half weeks, chat. Hi from London, Tom. Thank you for the... It, obviously, I didn't want that to happen. And it's the longest I hadn't streamed in two years. But that's still with... that Like, so many hammers, man. It just... <laughs> Yo, what's up, Christy? Hi from Stoke-on-Trent. Here's a question for you. Why in England or, or like, what, what's what's the point of the, like, on? You know what I mean? What's the point? It's like Birmingham on ham sandwich. I don't know what, like, why, like... Something that doesn't sound like a tight, like, you'd be like, oh, yeah. That's where Phil Foden's from. Oh, cool. Right? And then, that, and then that's it. You're like, okay. Genius. Okay. Get me in the bottom quarter, please. Please get me in the bottom quarter. Because we just hit the space bar for the first time. And nothing gets the blood flowing in the morning like hitting the space bar for the first time. Flavio Nacino. Ice free. Hope you're good looking forward to more winning today.
Yes, we are, buyer. Thank you so much for the three months, dude. We are looking forward to more winning today. Hello from Waterford, Ireland. Sounds like a lovely place, isn't it? There's like an Irish club from Waterford or Water... Uh, I need to learn more things. Chris DePonta! Wow. wow. Top 10 animable trails already. Got the Twitch Prime out with Chris DePonta. Oh, boy. Welcome to the Hammers. And Blew It. Oh, man. Blew It, you're making some moves. Central defenders, wingbacks. That's all you think we need? Cool. But yeah, it's the wingback on the left because that's what you're... Oh, my God. We need him right now. Because we're going to lose Joe Pinto. We'll deal that in the offseason if we do happen to lose him. So, Hello from Ithrile. Hello, YouTube. You guys are getting the hang of it. It's night. Nice. Look at that. Blue, it's one month away from gold bacon. What time is it where you are? 11.45 in the, the, the morning, technically. Hello from Indonesia. Nice. I have never been to Indonesia, and I really want to go. Hope you're doing well. I'm about to launch Top Division Assault, but I have to release like three-fourths of my backup players because of them not being good enough, including the team leader. Of course, I have replacements and inbound loanies lined up, though. Does it feel like a good decision or not? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, it's a good decision. Just make sure you're doing a ton of team cohesion work throughout the preseason. I timed out yesterday in chat, and I'd like to apologize. Murph, you are good, man. We all say stupid things. The only good thing about me saying stupid things is I can't get myself timed out. I can only be judged harshly by my mods and my mother, who is somehow always watching and texting me at the same time. Wheelchair life with the two months high YouTube, he says. Thank you for that. Have you signed any Chinese lads? We've not acquired the Chinese lads. That was old English. In case you didn't uh, recognize the words, uh, you know, it was old English. Okay, wingback. It's not even wingbacks on the left. It's wingbacks on the right. They just really don't like Claudio Tavares for some reason. Oh, Paraguay. Why is that exciting? But it is. I'm like, ooh. Paraguay. How foreign. Others the others i end up with so many people that are like on my short list specifically waiting for their contracts to end so that we can trial them and actually figure out if they're good or not Ooh, this dude's a 22 year old forward of benfica as a second division club next year should we be able to like hold the line i feel like a, a benfica dropout in the second division makes complete sense okay we got it Easy. Easy. Rio Ave at home. Easy. Hey, this guy's so much better than I thought he was. Holy smokes. I thought this guy was just going to be a dumpster that we signed for free. He is legitimately okay. I am shocked. You ever thought about doing an Australian save? Not seriously. I have not seriously thought about it. Eric Mendez, thank you for the 100 bits. The greatest player in the history of the club. I'm in League of Nostal Oriental Dragons. You need to step it up, mate. Bro, I'm just, I don't know what to tell you. Disappointment to my fans, my family. But most importantly, I'm a disappointment to myself. I like traffic like traffic like traffic lights. No matter where they've like traffic like traffic like traffic like traffic like traffic lights, but only when they're green. Thank you for specifying, the Yeti. I appreciate the specification. Congrats on the Silver Reagan. Six months as part of an elite online gaming community. Sounds pretty good to me. Riddle of the day, I'm the beginning of the end. The end of time and space. I surround everyone and was the beginning of everything. What am I? Your mom! Up top! Up top! No? Okay. Hadn't hit one of those in a while. Ultac, 
Thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers, old talk. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. You know, take advantage of being part of the Hammers, right? Are you watching the Handball World Championships? Please send a link to the Discord of the Handball World Championships so that I can watch them because that just sounds really cool. Why is there more being done about signing Chinese players? That is an excellent question. Totally worth asking, you know. Well, we've landed a few trialists. A few more trialists. We already have a ton of people on trial. We're trying to figure out who the flippity... Yeah, who that... Who are we signing, right? Gustavo Aguilar. This dude is uh, not good. Aguilar. <gasps> Did you hear that? I almost got the roll, dude. I was so close. Oh, no. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, man. You were so close. You shouldn't have tried again. Now you've embarrassed yourself in front of hundreds of people. It's not. It's not. It. Dang it. Do you know what goes in the preseason finish predictions? Uh, it's a lot of reputation and then the, you know, what the media believes, how good they believe your players are as well. Just slap my screen to high five you on that. Brooks gets it. Brooks is going to have a lot of success in life, you know? That's what you that's what you can tell from somebody with that kind of initiative. Somebody that makes plays like that. Dude, I uh, a little short on registration room here. Can I like terminate this or I mean he's free. We're literally not gonna register this guy. He's that bad. This is why we take some swings on guys like that. Because we don't know, but, you know, like with him, now we know. And knowing was worse than not knowing. So. Alan! Alan! Can't even get close to his financial. Oh, what? Put your tongue back in your mouth. Okay. Ricardo Cabrera. You're like, okay. Hey, some more Chinese dudes. What's up, Chinese dudes? How you doing? Let's do this. Yong Lei. Andre Nunez. You don't sound Chinese. You sound like kind of a poser. Oh, I love, I love transfer windows. Okay. Did, oh my goodness, we left. Uh, despite preseason hopes for top half finish, Rio have a Rio have B were like eighth place two days ago, Vanessa. And like I know you're an intelligent woman, Vanessa. I would have expected more from you. Chubbs! Thank you so much for the three months. And what's what's up, DTNG? How are you doing today? My striker scored his hundredth goal for the club. Pog. And Johan, I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well too. Everybody rolling in. I know we didn't start on the appropriate time today. Everybody's gonna be rolling in a little late. But Chubbs McJohn boy got here, dropped the three months. Congrats on cooking your bacon. What's the, uh, what's your best underdog W? Uh, I beat Dortmund on the road with Bate like three years into the save. First time watching live, says DTNG. Shoot. Sorry, I won't mention you. It'll be just like YouTube. I won't even look at you. I'm gonna stay right, I'm gonna stay right in my lane, dude. Any tips for how to phase out old, highly influential player I want to sell? Oh uh, yeah, you want to try and lower, um, you want to try and lower their squad role first, their expected playing time. And if they accept it, then that, that that's how you start the process. And then a couple months later, you might want to lower it again, L like lower it again. You have to sound Chinese to be Chinese. I know, just ask the three Brazilians on the Chinese national team. Pursue your relationship with Vanessa. The board have added it is non-negotiable that you have to pursue your relationship with Vanessa. Avenir Dutch. With the eight months. Only one month till we're due, Kappa. The Twitch baby's on the way, Avenir Dutch. Thank you for eight months as part of an elite online gaming community. Any 
anyone excited to go see Red Dead later? I need my fix. A lot of people are loving the Red Dead right now. And it's so it's such a fun game to play, considering I've never played it before. How do you lower their squad role? Right click on them, go to squad and agreed playing time. Or you can go down, uh, if you're on the player, overview happiness, and then it's in there. Pedro's side have been unlucky lately. I think. I, I don't know. What do you think? I'm watch I'm, Do you think I'm watching all the Rio Ave matches? Does that look like the way I want to spend my time? Vanessa and I have other plans. You sound like you're worried about the strength. I'm not hiding the face. It's going to be a tough match. I, I still back us to play well. I'm not talking team selection, though. I will, however, talk endlessly about how people on trial, it's up to them, you know? They could totally do it. If, they, if I was trialing Lionel Messi, I would definitely sign him. So it's, de you know, it's up to them if they're going to be able to, uh, to figure this out. All right, are any of these Chinese dudes worth signing? Come on, China, roll the dice. I want one to come up now. He's just bad, chat. He's just bad. Any tips for when and when not to train player traits and individual training? Player traits, don't train them on anybody under the age of 20. Huge flag for me. Don't train them on anyone under the age of 20 unless it's something that is integral to helping them succeed. I'm talking like they're not a good dribbler and you train knock the ball past opponents on them. Because when you train it on somebody that's under the age of 20, you're adding to their current ability, taking away their ability to reach their potential through attributes. All right, so. Always keep that in mind. Dude, I really like this player. Even though they're saying he's bad, he's athletic. He's freaking huge. He's just so bad at positioning and he's 29. So it's not like you can improve upon that. Yeah, I mean, most of these guys... E e they did all they could. Progress was made, but at the end of the day, he sucked. You know, we really wanted to do it, but at the end of the day, he was bad. I, I think that sums up this entire Chinese experiment that we're on. Looking for a Chinese player that we, we, that we like, want. Obviously, nobody wants these players on loan. Flavio Nazinho. So who's registered that I, like, wouldn't want to be on the team? Is there, is there anybody registered that I wouldn't want to be on the team? Third goalkeeper, Rui Pedro. I can't terminate. I I really got to start putting the terminations in the loans. It's a little thing. Gives you a lot of flexibility. Boy, does it anger the coach, though. Like, whoever you loan the guy in from, you terminate a loan, they're going to be furious. All right, club vision. Very disappointed, but you're not, you're not hating. You're not hating. means I might be able to spin this last spot on somebody that's a trialist. We got a trialist that's uh that's a game changer somewhere. I mean we've got the striker Tiago Noose, but really nowhere else do we have a game changing trialist. Maybe this guy. Real Santander's stud center back Jonathan Enciso. Delia, he plays freaking left back, which is probably the one position more than any other that I just can't make work. Oh, he does play winger. So this guy can play on the outside. Th mm, I might grab him then. Because I could make Prezeris... <gasps> Sorry. I could totally make Prezeris a backup and play that guy out on the right wing. 
what are the best pros in a scouting report if that makes sense um loves big matches the best I mean, outside of your you know your positional stuff uh, you want pros that mean like the attributes are good at that spot but um you like the hidden attributes that you're going to find uh especially if you're signing some south american to like eastern europe you want adaptability uh you, de you definitely want adaptability you want but the big matches for me and then of course consistency is in there too because why would you not want to have that but there's there's nothing that's like uh, you automatically sign this person if it's there there is nothing that's like that i'm getting a lot of buffering and freezes are we dropping frames uh yes i got the notification just a second ago so you heard the man bit rate we're going down bit rate we're going down is a model okay is a model citizen is probably the best one you can get uh i go big matches over consistency i'm dead serious in terms of watching the match itself watching the match and experiencing the game exactly well no look consistency never backfires right it just makes them play at the level they can play at more often but the big matches thing i've 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 witnessed the big matches thing be much more prevalent in determining your success than than a consistency obviously you'd rather have both right bitrate we are descending into the depths here lynn Desmet. dude's contract runs out in six months i don't care how stupid his name is i'll be there yeah, I see all these guys. They're like, oh, do you want to sign this guy? His wage is like half the team's budget. Sounds good, right? Yeah, absolutely. 100% I'm behind this. Me just keeping the entire nation of Brazil on a short list, waiting for their every, every free agent that comes out of Brazil for their contracts to expire. Let's play Rio Ave. Come on now. Let's play Rio Ave. These guys any good? I am so sad that none of these Chinese players, they're all just like useful backups. None of them have actual ability. We're top of the league. Load, I said we're top of the league. The Lusitana LaRusse has got a match in hand, which is no fun. Why, like why is, why? Why is? That's the whole question. That's the whole sentence. Why is? All right, Tavares, you're off. Uh, let's go back to removing the trialists, okay? Uh, right back, Ja Silva. Boom. We got Marquez, Sobral, Holland. We shouldn't have Sobral. We should have uh, Nacinho, who's better than Sobral. For some reason, he's he's a sad boy. He's he's a sad lad. What makes you sound older? You know, I don't want to demean him. I don't want to be calling him a sad boy if sad lad makes him feel better about himself. What are your scouting assignments set up out of interest? We've got one looking for end of contracts in South America. We've got one looking for... Uh, I, I, it's either end of contracts or loans in Portugal. I honestly I said at the beginning of the season, I honestly don't remember. Alice Sager, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Enjoy the bacon next to your name. Enjoy the subscriber section of the Discord where you can participate in competitions, hang out in the lounge. I'm usually in there when I'm working. Just a shoot on Sunday. I was in there just playing Civ, hanging out with some some lads. Some lads in there, and that's where you can you can hop in. Your formation looks like a Z. Well, that's all part of the plan, boss. Is there any way to get someone who's fairly susceptible to injuries to stop getting so many injuries? Uh, yeah, just give them a half intensity training. Hey, oh, there's a super cool little thing that you can do. Hold on. Go to uh, training rest, right? And if you're worried about somebody that's really getting hurt, or like when they get to these levels, you can change the preset intensity, right? Or obviously you go to their individual training, go to them, change their intensity. 
Because that's more individual specific. But like if your team's struggling with injuries, I'd switch that stuff around. So like the day after a match, a good number of people won't be in training, but that's okay. You'll avoid the injuries. So. Uh, you know, let's just, let's just go. Let's just play the first match of the stream. Rio Av B, here we come. We're on the way. Flavio Nazinho is our new wing sub. Claudio Tavares is suspended for this match. We're riding the Flavio train. <laughs> Respect nothing but a win for this match to keep our good run going forward. Yes. <laughs> Wadi, you're in the hammers for free. Thanks to Jeff Bezos. Shout out to the Twitch Primes. What does bitrate mean or berate? Uh, berate means to yell at aggressively, right? Bitrate, which it could have been some misspelling. Bitrate is the number of uh, <clears throat> the number of bits per second being transferred over the interwebs. Come on, Conde. Come on, Conde. Oh, uh, 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 come on, Fonso. Preser. Oh my goodness. Why did it have to be my backup right back that had that chance? That was beautiful. Who, uh, so, it was Prezeris, right? It was Prezeris that played the ball. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'll go Afonso for now because we got a lot of match left and I kind of, I really want to win this and I don't want to rely on Flavio Nazinho in his first appearance when he's nervous to be the guy to handle that. So Valente, you're taking the spot on the wing. Prezeris is hurt for the second time this season. That's unfortunate. Need a good ball, Pinto. And it was a good ball. We just lost the... Oh, no. We're lined... We're defending nothing. We're, we're standing in a straight line. What could we possibly be defending in this situation? Thank goodness I have Joseph Holland. Because he made that look way too easy. Good save. Those central midfielders are so deep. Sounded oddly sexual, but I did. <laughs> they are though. They're taking away my strikers. Oh, that's gotta be a goal. Don't even ask me how. Don't even ask me how Vandergeg got blocked there. I don't. I don't have an answer for you. Van, but he did get blocked. Vandergeg from behind got blocked, looking at an empty net. So sick. Look like Chupo Motsing right there. Harsh, but fair. Oh, we're about to put together one of. The oh my God! What? <laughs> Abdelay Conde, holy mother. Nobody's blocking that one, chat. That is a missile. Ballistic, intercontinental. That's just terrible goalkeeping, but we take those. Intercontinental ballistic Conde right there. For the second time this season, bar down just over the line, outrageous. And this, yikes. Yikes, don't get on the team bus, man. It's not gonna be fun. There we go, there we go. Now we're flying. We're, we're in the third division. We finished fourth out of 24 last year and uh, we projected top half this year. That was our board expectation. But yeah, we're a little bit above that. We're in first. Yeah. Set you up there, I think. Valente, play it. Well, now don't. And then just give the ball. You did everything wrong, Afonso. And look, I love you. I know you're a good player, but my goodness. 
Oddly. No. Ramirez. Eric. Afonso! My word. Like, if he scores that, though. Who's the top scorer this season? Eric Mendez. I mean, isn't the answer always Eric Mendez? It's not Conde or Valente, but they're the ones with the goals today, so. We praise the hustle. Let me continue to eat my English muffin. Bring it down. Please. What an effort by Jaw Silva. What a terrible goal to concede. faith in you you must improve Vandergig on the other side Vandergig on the other hand is playing a terrible match yeah boo! that's true I forgot we had that boo 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 I don't even know if I blame Sergio for that it's just one of those like Gel Silva made a play he just couldn't get the ball off him and then fate decided the ball was going into the back of the net for whatever reason oh what a ball by Julian dang it Eric I mean, that was a very tough one to score, but. It's a good throw. Don't worry. Our best aerial presence. Not doing a whole lot right now. He's playing a terrible match. Okay, we'll admit that. Luca Vandergeg, terrible match. Holland. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything except for, you know, actually completing the pass that I was celebrating. That would have been nice. Poor guys. Not a, oh, not athletic enough to win the ball. Well, I guess they finally won the ball. We filled in on the backside. He's got no one to pass to except for that guy. It is outrageous how that turned into a pretty clear goal scoring chance, right? Preposterous that that just happened. Ramps, I'm pretty sure it hit two people in the face and then just sat up for him to have a volley from that angle. The feng shui is off, dude. I'm worried about the feng shui. Not enjoying the feng shui. That's the second weird, weird happening. Okay. Just chill. Yeah, no, yeah. We're we're just chilling. All right, that's good. Oh, what a ball! My God. Pinto just taking it on first time because he knows what's up because he's that good. You're a goalkeeper. Surely you've conceded a goal that came off the post and hit you. I am not kidding when I tell you I either blacked out and don't remember it or that literally never happened to me. I love you too, Swag Archu. A lot more now. How good is Eric Mendez? Very. Eric Mendez is very good. But I honestly cannot remember a time where that happened to me. I like, you just, you know where your posts are, right? It's that little goalkeeper trick where right when you um right when you get onto the field for the first time, you find the middle of the goal, walk out to the edge of the six yard box and carve a little God, Valente is on fire. Valente's got the best aerial presence on the freaking team. Do you do voiceover work? No. I mean, I have for friends. They'll be like, hey, can you do this one thing for me? But no, I don't like do professional voiceover work. He's on fire! Valente! Two goals from right wing. You think he'd finally learn how to play the position? What's a gloriously great goal? It's glorious. Oh, 
Nito. It'll be the right time to score a free kick when we really don't need it. We're up 4-1. They've just let us cross the ball too much. Even all their housery in front of our goal isn't going to save them. Oh, that's got to be ours. Vandergeg, a little cheeky for my taste. All right, we need to make some changes, though. We got we're, Everybody's going to be super tired. Uh, oddly off. Just be resting Pinto in the next match, but we really can't rest him mean oddly. And yeah, let's let's uh, let's put in Flavio Nazinho. Now we can put in Nazinho. The, the match is won. We love uh, Afonso Valente. He's a very good player. Ooh, Eric, in behind. Nice ball. I mean, I mean. I mean! Best offense in the league right here. But yeah, that's the goalkeeper trick, right? You, unless you're playing on turf, then you have to like, usually I take some of the tape off my wrist and put it right at the edge of the six. And what you do is you find the middle of the goal, right? Before the match, you go to the pole, you walk out to the middle of the goal, and then you walk straight out to the edge of the six and you mark it so that while you're, while you're playing, you don't have to like check your post you know exactly where you are in the goal and so like i honestly i never remember a ball hitting the post behind me like the crossbar like on the way over but i never remember the ball like striking the side post firmly maybe i just have a terrible memory i'm sure it's happened to me i mean he just he just powered his way through there that he's he's been a huge pickup. I mean, he's a guy that has 18 Only first two months till Twitch child. I am using your streams to help me recover from the Browns loss on Sunday to Chad Henney. Good luck to your bucks. I hope the Packers <laughs> beat them. <laughs> to Chad Henney. Oh, thanks. Good luck to your bucks. I hope the Packers beat them. More given. Thank you for the seven. Congrats on a playoff win, though. I mean, a huge improvement over a normal season for the Browns. It was a little painful to watch Chad Henney make the... But, you know, good for Chad Henney. First playoff appearance in 13 seasons of the NFL, right? <sighs> yeah, this keeper's not having a good one. Totally should have saved Oddly's goal. But at this point, we're just... Uh, he's made his own bed. You know, he's laying in it. So whatever, whatever's good for him. We've just throttled them. Oh, did he hit that? What a pass by Evan Nielsen. Woo, baby! Hey, hey, ha, hoi, ha, ho, hi. Why do you snap the ball in fourth down there? Because it worked. I guarantee you he told them to act like they weren't going to snap the ball and it fooled everybody. And then they had the fastest player in the NFL run straight across the field and no one's keeping up with that and just catch the ball and that was it. Whoa! Six goals. Do I hear seven? Come on, Nazinho. Okay, Nazinho is definitely black. So, shout out to the skin color thing. Oh my god! He bent it like Beckham in that Indian woman in the movie. Bent it like Beckham, who I'm a huge fan of. What a film! And he bent it like them. That was sumptuous. That was delicious. I want to have that for lunch. Oh, dude. Same match as the goal by Abdullah Kande, too. Holy smokes. <sighs> the annual Joe Holland absolute banger. He scores at least two of these a year, I swear. Look at, look at this. Oh. It almost hit the middle of the net. That's how much he bent that around the keeper. Joe Holland, England's finest right there. Waving that magic wand of a left foot. And we deserve to win. We do not deserve to be up 7-1. to 8-1? to one? Come on. Do it to him, Pito. All right, Sandro, it's your turn. Good ball. 7-1. to one. What English team do you support? I don't really... I don't have like a home and away like let's go this team uh english team i i hope swansea does well i hope sunderland does well for just for various reasons in my life that i have an affinity to people from that area or you know 
Yeah, 7-1, super harsh for this match. But great performance by the lads. I mean, come on. I'm very happy about that. We just won 7-1 to one against a mid-table team. Like, this isn't even a team that's supposed to... This is a B team from the top league. I'm all in it for the swag. Zealand loves Spurs, but he never admits it. I've been caught red-handed. All right. So we've separated nine points from Fontinius. Barra Mar has, put, has turned in a really disappointing season after. With the Baconators. Greetings from Ireland. Thank you, Zed, for all yours, Reese's, and all the mods' hard work. And thank you for introducing me to the god that is Eric Mendez. Scored 45 goals for my local Drogheda United team in my last season. <laughs> Dude. Sunderland, I used to like you. I'll explain that in a second, but thank you, McTui, for the three months. Congrats on your proper usage of Eric Mendez. That is, if you're a hammer, that's how you do it right there. You use Eric Mendez in your save, and then he scores a bunch of goals for you. What's up, guys? Uh, good result for your side. How surprising was it given your pre-match comments? Um, they were a good side. Look, it was a, it was a hefty result. Your unbeaten home run now stands at 10 league matches. How important is it to you make Yunko de Sportus become a fortress? Um, our home form has been, a, I mean, it's important to be strong at home. And that's, that's basically it. What's up, Vanessa? You're looking fabulous today. You've managed to extend Oriental Dragons run over Rio Ave B. Uh... It doesn't matter who we're up against. I really just want to win. Such a positive result must have gone down well with you. All the players be getting a day off. Uh, no, we're striking the right bit. Look, we won. Cool. Next match. How please you with the outcome? A superb win for everybody involved. Everybody at the club. Some amazing goals were scored. Gotta love it for the neutrals and uh, everything else. So, yeah, gotta love big it. Big ups the top boys, Elon. Big ups the Mottings. And big ups Mans in the Hammers. Delinio with the eight big ups everywhere, chat. Huge big ups everywhere. Thank you for the eight months as part of the hammers, Delinio. Just four to go for the illustrious, the top tier, the gold bacon. Who's been winning the Portuguese league in your save? I honestly don't know. Did Jordan Morris finally get his move, by the way? Eric Mendez for free for Man City at the age of 31. I mean, clearly. That's it. He likes Sunderland because he watched Netflix. No, Just actually. And should be in the Hall of Saint Simo. Where are you from in England or America? I'm from Florida in the United States. Yassi Toyman should be in the Hall of Saints. Wow, that's uh, that would be like, you know how there's two types of people that get into the Hall of Fame? There's the people that get in like first ballot and then there are the people that get in later after further consideration. Hold on. <coughs> And then, uh, Yase Toyman and Oysters, thank you for the five months, by the way, and for starting this campaign. Yase Toyman and from last year with Bate is definitely the type of person that could be one of those late additions to the Hall of Football Manager Saints and stuff. So the, the story behind Sunderland is when we were in, like, elementary school middle school right you're in the united states everybody was kind of picking their premier league club there's like you know things just take over elementary school for a week like tamagotchi or something got to do a job interview good luck winning the league thank you turnover carbon good luck with the job interview come on uh so who just offered a couple of teams that are offering uh yeah okay i don't think we're gonna Wu Wei is gone but everybody was picking premier league teams that was like what was sweeping school that week and everybody, you know, oh, Arsenal, Manchester United, cool, cool. I, I never I never went for that sort of thing. I always liked the underdog, right? And so there was this team. I didn't really know much about them. They were called Sunderland. They had this player named Ki Sun Young who I, like, I liked watching. And somehow, the last two years that I'd finally been following the Premier League, this team had been, like, guaranteed to be relegated. And just managed to not get relic. Like, they just had these miraculous turnarounds. 
I think it was like the John O'Shea teams. They had these miraculous turnarounds and they just weren't relegated. And that was it. They just didn't get relegated. And I was like, wow, what a great team. Like they just have this, this plucky kind of scrappy attitude to stay in the Premier League against these big... So I was like, screw it. Sunderland's my Premier League team. And then of course that went well, right? That went swimmingly. But, you know, you that's how it happened. And so I never became like a huge Sunderland fan, but I always just kind of hoped they did well from that point in my life. That's the story. O-D. F-C. O-D. F-C. I can all tier tie off for two week trial so that I can get rid of the players faster if I forget about them in this instance. Once I get out of the window, then I will. Give Eric his justice and add this face to the game. Well, that link didn't work. Worth a shot, young. I'm gonna make you English, says Bagpuss. Oh, here we go. We've redeemed an English accent in the chat. All right. We have to emotionally prepare to use an English accent for what is it, two minutes? Got two exams tomorrow, all the best in winning the league. All right, Kakashi, and if you need another break, I'll be right here. I'll be checking you out. Not that, but you know, like, I'll, okay, I'll be around. Sending you polite awkwardness and a cup of tea vibes. Thank you. I appreciate that, Pegasus. Okay. We've got Cyril Errington of Nicaragua. He's terrible. Well, he's not terrible. He is athletic, but he's not good. And so we're going to get rid of him. Jaime Moreno. We've got so many players that are better than him, but... It's so fascinating to see a Nicaraguan player that I've just, like, I kept him around on the trial for no particular reason. Um, this man, he just doesn't fit into our midfield, Frank Bombuk. Julian Michel, 30-year-old Frenchman who's playing in China. That's the only reason we've got him here. And uh, he's gone. Felix Mataus, who's a man full of pace and strength. He's a pretty darn good player, he, but he's... I do think he's better than Ivan Diaz, who is our current substitute at this position. I think he's got Ivan Diaz covered, and mainly because Ivan Diaz is just simply not as athletic. He's he's also more intelligent. The things that Ivan Diaz has got in terms of his vision, leadership, I don't really care. But Ivan Diaz, like literally every other centre back on the team, is better than Felix Matthaus at playing with the ball. Matthaus is definitely a no-nonsense type of player. He's get the ball, get rid of it, play defense, get stuck in, sweep. He can totally sweep with that. It's weird. It's not a bad accent, but it sounds wrong. Well, here's the reason, largely. It sounds so bizarre because you spend so much time watching me and you expect a certain sound to be coming out of my mouth, but if you don't know it... You don't know that I'm American. You don't know that stuff. Is 33 a week enough to survive in League One? Well, 33 times 52 is, um... You know, it's... It's just going to take my brain a moment here. Yeah, it's 1,700 and... Oh, it, sorry, I did that with my... Right here. The 1,716. So, yeah, that's enough. Absolutely enough. That, that's plenty. Leaving League One... No, leaving League One is easy compared to the transition from League One to the Championship is... And the transition from the Championship to the Premier League is... And that's why League One to the championship, you're going up against a Premier League team. And then you're at the top of the championship. And then you go up that way. All the way further. It's definitely enough. Yes. So how much money would Matthaus want? Because he is a good player. He's a player that i got time for. I've got use for. Lee Shuai, I love you. You are the sexiest thing on earth. 
Not now, love. Soon, not now. Big C pop stand here. I just love pace on center backs, don't you? I'm going to sign Matash just because he's fast. I mean, he's worth it. He's a good player, but he's... I have to move I have to move a few things around to get him into the team. I think I'm going to have to drop my third string keeper from the, the area. That's a good fast uh, Chadian, though. He's got a real turn of pace. Belenins is keen to sign Holland. Well, at the moment, they're just rumors. We have no interest in selling Joe Holland. Did you see the goal he just scored? Of course you didn't, you fool. Abdelay Kande. Well, now I have belief that Abdelay Kande... I, 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 yeah, Abdelay Kande can play the attacking position. Diogo Azata is going to come off and play the deeper lying position because that's what he can do. And then Claudio Tavares is going to step back into the right back spots. <sighs> I just got promoted to the national quality team to League 1, winning League 2 quite easily, which scares me a bit. No, you're flying. You're in a good spot. I hate this cursed... This cursed voice! I'm playing on... No, the centre-back is not for an either. He's a homegrown player from... You know, he, well, he's, not, he's Cape Verdean, but he's homegrown in Portugal, is the point. That's what matters. And we'll be getting rid of the, uh, the goalkeeper. Now, it's not, like, important for the registration, but here's the thing. I want to be able to sign the striker, too. <sighs> I think we made it through two minutes, chat. Thank you to <laughs> for redeeming the English accent. Oh, and there's always that one person that joins the stream for the first time while we're using an English accent and then goes, what just happened? I need a little more information on Tiago News before I sell the farm to you. Hey, who am I kidding? I can get the contract set and then delay it. Oh, I don't like that, bud. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like the fact that I have to do this. I have a feeling that that's not good. Where's my, like... Tiago, I will pay you 37. I will give you two years. Signing on fee of... 1k it, i never know what to put these at if i don't have the person okay like accidentally insult the guy add bonuses uh appearance fee see that's like i don't know what what we're at what we need to be at do you totally go like way too high so i'm gonna try and go he's gonna be like ninety thousand. Playing a dangerous game, leverage in my future to get this guy. We're playing a dangerous game. Now there's that it's a third of the entire wage that we have to close down. Promotion salary raise 35%. We're an assist bonus in there. Relegation release clause of zero, obviously. Um fifteen combined goals and assists. Minimum fee release clause, 1.5 million. 
or let's set it like 1.3 million. So if you really go off uh, match highest earner, non-promotion release clause of 375,000. They give him a, another bonus for getting to, uh, we give him another bonus for getting to five goals. We're assuming we get second division money to pay this sort of thing off. And that's pretty beefy right there, so. That's what I can do, man. Is it just me or did the computer just die? That was like, I saw that. Okay, hold on, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need you to focus right here, chat. I'm gonna need you to be focused right here. I, I need I, 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 The computer just wasn't feeling it right there, but that's fine. That's all part of the experience there, honey. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Zealand, an illustrious YouTuber and streamer is the greatest single negotiating force in the history of football manager. That has now been confirmed. The only mystery that, that abides is whether this player, Tiago Noose, is actually worth it. That is the mystery that abides. By the release clause in a one-year deal, does it help with negotiations? It does. It's not a one-year deal. It's a one-and-a-half-year deal. One and a, it expires in June 2024 and is signed in January 2023. So it's one-and-a-half years. Kaiser, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. And welcome to the Hammers. Dude didn't even negotiate it. Excuse me. It's a lot of audacity. We're on Zealand News. We only report the facts, JCRS. Only the facts on Zealand News. And the facts are... That was the greatest negotiation anyone's ever witnessed before. Back to you. I couldn't tell you, dude. That was so weird. Because normally... That transition plays fine. I'm like, I'm shooketh. The computer was just like, yo, you know, today, how about we don't do that? Whoa, hello. Looking to sign Tiago News. Well, now what we have is we've got the deal in. We've got the deal in, so we now need him to accept it, right? Trials are done for, for a lot of people, which is good. That frees up a lot of our training room. We've cleaned out a lot of trialists. And that dude can play over on the right wing and then all of a sudden, try it again. You want to try it again? Let's try it again. She's just chugging a little bit, dude. Yeah, it wasn't as bad. I There's just something. Let me, I'll, I'll check a background process here. That's weird. I've never had that problem before. Anyways. Which means that there's probably just, you know, the computer in particular is just not having a very good day today for whatever reason. Decided that today was the day to just not be as good. Hey! Hey, you trained really well, man. It's okay.
Yeah, it just it's nothing a fresh little restart can't fix, bro. What's up, Siren? How would you stop 4-2-3-1 against a team with very quick and creative wingers? Um, I would probably, like, if you're trying to just defend it and not necessarily attack it a ton, I'd go with a 4-5-1 defensive midfielders uh, individually man-marking the attacking midfielder, and then you've got those wingers on top of your fullbacks. Or what you can do is go with a 4-3-3, but the three in the middle is two defensive midfielders and then one central midfielder. Uh, and those defensive midfielders can help uh, get those wingers out wide. And you probably want to force players out wide, especially if those dudes are trying to cut in. You know what I'm saying, homie. All right, what's up, Vanessa? Where you at, Vanessa? How important do you think the team spirit at Oriental Dragons been in the recent streak? Uh, besides playing creative, uh, the creative freedom, inspired by confidence. Are you concerned that a defeat could see morale, uh, squad morale plummet? Uh, no, we're very strong mentally. We have lost not that long ago. We expect an attacking focus from your team. I want to encourage attacking play, but we have to be careful. How important have Jel Victor's performance has been for Silgaros this season? He's, um, they'd be worse off without him. We want to gain some revenge. Uh, we're looking forward to this one for a while. Absolutely. We're looking for revenge. Dead A's been on trial for a while. We've had 30 guys on trial for a while. I don't really think this question is relevant to the future of this press conference or something. Uh, yes, Bob. Uh, what we want to do is get the deal for the winger done first, and then Matthaus, we're going to look to sign him too. If we sign Matthaus too, we're going to have to drop our third string goalkeeper from our registration. Uh, but we want to make sure we can sign Noose first, because I want to make sure that the Chinese player thing doesn't block me at the last. If it does, I'm going to have to sign a Chinese player and Matthaus, which I can do. And I will sign C-Pop Sensation. The C pop sensation. How to get my team to score more goals in the Vanarama South? Get the best defense in the league after 42 games. I've only scored 51 goals, conceded 29. Need help to get promoted. Uh, are you playing with just one striker? That is my question. Because if you are playing with just one striker, you need to find a way to get a second striker on the field. That is how you score more goals when you're just trying to create numbers against the opponent. How do you balance leagues loaded versus game speed? Look, if I am playing football manager on a toaster, right? I'm on a smart toaster. I download the football manager app on the smart toaster, right? Well, that is still going to work, right? I'm still going to be able to run the game. It's just going to take a, an hour to sim through a day. And so what you need to under, if you're on a really bad laptop, you can still run a completely full database. It's just going to be a lot slower. Yeah, it's not producing any results because you're tanking in training, dude. Like you've been nothing but bad in training. And so it's the balance is not in the game itself. The balance is for you. How fast do you want the game to go compared to how much detail do you want? Will the potential League One players uh, I have be able to develop into Premier League quality players? Vast majority of them, no. Oh yeah, we're top of the league. Poggers. Poggers. We got Silgetos at home, then we uh, button up this transfer window, see if we can make these couple of moves in the last two days. After all that work, we freed up this money so that we'd be able to make a move or two like the ones we're planning on making here. Why does Lusitana La Russa just have a match in hand? It's a very ominous feeling to have them sitting there. Okay. So I should be able to... Oh, the unavailable's on tick now. So we, we do have a lot of people on trial, but not nearly as much. Okay, uh, the team's ready. We have rested enough. Pinto, Tavares, Costa, Vandergeg, Dutra, Diogo Izada, Abdele Conde, Amine, Adli, Afonso Valente playing on the wing with Mendez and Ramirez. Okay. Let's do it.
We owe them, apparently. Nervous? Oddly, you're nervous? I have faith in you, man. There we go. Lusitana LaRusso in action today. Look, I expect them to do well. They keep they keep winning, so. We're adapting. We believe we can go out there and win. Even though we don't have Pedro Prezeras today, of course we believe uh, that we can go out there and win. You gotta believe! What's a good setup for a midfield three and a five, three, two? Uh, typically for me, it's dropping the defensive, the defensive one in the middle, and then the outside two midfielders are the ones that you can get attacking. I've seen people bow it too, but to me that creates like this circle that people can operate in, in front of your back three. Needs to be a W. Yeah, of course Vanessa's still around. Dude, you think we'd still be playing this save if Vanessa wasn't here? Come on. I mean, we're playing until we win the Champions League. That's like, what, next year, right? So, easy. Easy. Would you love an FM-type game but with American football? Of course, yeah. Kind of play, yeah. Any, like, that, college sports, basketball, be all over it. Oh, Vandergeg, man, you just really don't have a killer instinct in front of the goal, which is a shame. Nice touch just weren't on the same page there he made the made a different run than what pinto threw the ball for love your intro for videos slash twitch love your energy i really like how you help us all being better to the game and enjoy every match keep up the good work son peace out a big danish fan thank you so much for the 10 bucks the 10 dollar donation nice shirt, nice shirt. yeah i appreciate it man crew and tim thank you for the eight months rocking this fourth tier tie kit somebody sent me razor sharp stuff god luca but thank you the big danish fan thank you to crew and tim for eight months as part of the hammers oh we got some hydrates okay There it is. See, Eric Mendez will show you how to finish on the near post. Huh? Oh, dude, they're bowing to him. Did you see that? You can't make this up. Eric Mendez scores, and Jal Pinto, who is a really good player, runs towards him and just bows to him. Him and um, Julian Ramirez, the other freaking strikers, bowing to him. Norwich! Thank you so much to the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money to be part of an elite online gaming community. And that's exactly where Jim Lads ended up, too. Thank you for the Tier 1. Setting yourself up to be part of the Hammers long term. The King, Eric Mendez, out of the crowd. Punishes the ball into the back of the net. He's got 19 and 24 matches. And as somebody pointed out, we've got 50 points from 23 matches. Which means we are dead on pace for 100 points. That is our exact pace, which is clear of 99 points, which is, of course, what we would have needed. Handle what you can handle there, folks. Oh, that's ours. Oh, Ramirez. If he can get that inside of that center back, it's a 1v1. Hey, Ramirez did enough, and he's going to get rewarded for it with a big goal-scoring chance. <laughs> Julian! 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 Do you know what a Danish pastry is called in Denmark? It's called a Viennese. That's so bizarre. I have had Danish... I've had Danishes in Denmark. And I did not know they were called Viennese. Eric Mendez is mine. He's been at my club since the very beginning. He was on the team when I got here, and he scored more goals than matches played for the club. Oh, boy. Here we go. Valente. Such a good passer. We're going to need something here, Afonso. Going to need a little something. I mean, yeah, a long throw is okay, but when we were in that kind of position, I was hoping for a little more. Oh, Tavares. It's a nifty little pass there, bud. Conde, what a what a pass by Abdele Conde. Oh my, Tavares played in. What's the point of being so technically gifted and such a good crosser if you just don't? Good patience by Zada there.
Eric Mendez just missed a sitter. Sitter. You said Matt Lumby saying the player base wouldn't there be there because basketball and American football aren't as international. I'm just saying it's FM style game. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same as like, oh, I'm gonna go scout, you know, Scandinavia for like, you know, for the next American football quarterback. Like that, no. But the it works the same way with the plays and the tactics and the staff and the scout, like, you know the actual full experience of just being the coach, right? The American football version, you'd be able to call the plays perhaps, like that'd be super cool, or in basketball as well. Will the Youth Academy players I got while in the League One be useless in the Premier League? Most likely, yeah. That's okay. Your Youth Academy is just gonna be getting better every year. You are not ever going to be in a position where every youth intake is going to provide one player that you keep, ever. I don't care how your Barcelona that doesn't happen. Love your YouTube content, dude. Keep up the great work. I got you, Ari. You guys like that latest video? I, the funniest comment I saw is I. So he's like, dude, I clicked on this video expecting it to be HITC seven. So I was like, that honestly is kind of the type of video Alfie Alfie would make. I geeked. I read the comments and I geeked. It's the king. It's the king. The finishing touch from Eric Mendez. 20 goals in 24 matches. He's back at it again. No division is too is you know no division is too tall for Eric. Man oh boy. Yeah, that's uh that's a pretty impossible island to be on, guys. Uh, we're going to need a little more concentration here. The MLS draft is very MLS draft very confusing. Yeah, well the MLS created a bunch of rules. Uh, and the point of the rules was to make the league work and understandable for Americans, but also allow it to be, you know, an actual FIFA league, which is the idea. Come on, Claudio. Ah. Uh... Like, I mean, Diogo. I'd like you to try and be the guy making the pass. I, I know we love El Capitan, we love Sandro Costa, but you know he's not the best at everything, right? He's not. He's not a better passer than you. You get that ball, don't ramp it back to him. Send it. Send it forward. Pick out a channel, aim for it, and give Julian and Eric a chance to run after it. That's all I'm saying. Why? How do we let him collect that ball? That was not an easy touch to take, but we let him bring it down. Oh, there a highlight here? All right, we need a. Somebody clip that. Did somebody clip that? Let 
No, that's not what happened. Ah! Mom, I'm scared. Dude, I... I've never seen anything like this. I'm, I feel like one of those dudes on like the Finding Bigfoot shows on Discovery Channel where it's like, I've never seen anything like this before. I think we found him. And I'm like, if you actually found Bigfoot, I would have heard about it on the news the day you found him. Okay. Positioning 21. I mean, he was just placed in the ball, you know, to start the second half, totally. Just, uh, yeah, just, he's being a good guy. Accidentally showed off his uh, supernatural ability to teleport, but, you know, he was just being a good guy. He just forgot for a second that he wasn't supposed to do that in front of humans. Is it cheating that I signed a guy that can teleport to play goalkeeper? I, you know, that is really a matter of opinion. There's a lot of different schools of thought on this, really. Ay, ay, ay. Valente? Oh, that's... He gave him a chance. Conde? Oddly? I mean, I don't know about going for that one. I don't know about going for that one. Come on. Come on, Claudio. Oh, boy. Dude, every single highlight is ours. They've had two highlights and scored two goals, chat. They've had three. They had the one right at the end of the half they didn't score. They've had three highlights and scored two goals, and the rest of the game is just like watching us almost score. Come on, baby. Our defense is not at it today. We needed another one. Thank you. Thank you, Afonso. He's got goals in him all of a sudden. Afonso Valente's got some serious goals in him. Box to box goalkeeper, dude. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I can't believe. Well, uh, we had to let a few goals go in because if he shows off more teleportation, he's definitely going to be found out, so. Yeah, oh, oh, choke incoming. Cat and Bacorals, I, ex I expect absolute loyalty and faith. Not really, but how dare you? Oh, he's offside. Nice finish, though. Valente, still feeling his bad self over here. Playing as a more offensive guy. I mean, he's... Yeah. Bro, how we went in 4-2 and you got a, a 6.3? You want to explain that to me? I can't even explain that to me. We're winning. You have a 6.3 and we're winning. Diogo, you're off. Lotaro Kiros, you're on. Haven't played you in a little while. Good thing our offense is like absolute sticks of dynamite or else we'd be in trouble. Yeah, if you tell... It's, it's like... If, look, it's like the code machines in World War II, right? Sometimes they would know an attack was coming, but they wouldn't do something to stop it because then it would be too obvious that they were breaking the German codes. So they just let it... You know, they just let it happen. See, we knew we were probably going to be able to win this game anyways if we let them score a couple of goals because now our goalkeeper's teleportation abilities are kind of revealed. Oh, just take it. Oh, my God! He's so good! 
He's so good. He is, he's so good, chat. I cannot, like, the amount of work he has to do to score this goal. Beats that guy, tight angle. He finds a way to weasel the ball by the goalkeeper who looks like he's in great, he's in great position, right? It's outrageous how good he is. Hampered by injury. Can I literally just tell him to come off the field? I do not need the extra player for five minutes. Conde, Afonso Valente. Oh, come on, hit it again. That had to be, that had to be a nice goal. King James the third. Thank you for the two months. Oh, Sandro, you, you sly dog. And Valente's out here just really stretching it out with an injury. We've scored seven and five goals in our two matches on this stream. That's nice. It's been a thousand bits to ask a question. You did, Swampy Joe. Please share Work the Space Twitter support for Tao Law. What's he doing for him? I I, I really don't pay it. I, I, I assume I don't know anything. Assume I don't pay anything. Pay Pay attention to anything. Check your messages on Discord. Work the space has messaged you. All right. Give me a sec. Hey, man. Let's see. The FA Cup of non-league club nicknames. The quarterfinal match three, the lawyers versus the white bellies. But what's wrong with Cuckfield Town other than the fact that their name is literally Cuckfield Town? You know what I mean? Chat, this isn't a dictatorship, right? You vote your conscience. I can't work the space as a good friend, so I'm going to vote for the lawyers, but you vote your conscience on this one. Because I've got nothing against Cuckfield Town. I don't want anything to think anybody to think I've got something against Cuckfield Town, right? I know he did Tala last year, yeah. The white bellies, like... Maybe they just don't tan enough, you know? The white belly is definitely fine. It sounds like something that could be some sort of derogatory term, but you just don't even know it, you know? You know, it's like, in the 1800s, I called the Irish white bellies. You're like, then you're just like, really? That's true. Cockfield's name is better than the nickname. Thank you guys for making me aware that he messaged me, though, because I, I have my Discord notifications muted while I stream. So I appreciate that a ton, to, uh, my peeps. Cuckfield's managed by John Terry. Take a thing one, one match at a time, chat. One match at a time. Sam, thank you for the gifted sub to Billy Proto for the <laughs> gifted for your service. What's up, Nitu? Just started watching. How's it going? Uh, good. We've scored 12 goals in two matches. The white bellies, the old dudes, the gym, they refuse to put a towel over their nude body. That, I mean, why, why does that have a term? What? <laughs> why is that a thing with a name? Why is that a thing with a name? Bruised ankle. You really, you were, you were 
souring out over a bruised ankle there. All right, time for the, the deadline day. Now we're going to know who we're if we're going to be able to get the two guys that we want after this, of course. Eric Mendez hat trick was undoubtedly the key factor in your win today. I love how he scored a hat trick and we didn't even notice it. That's just because he's Eric Mendez. Uh, we'll take it game by game, but Valente can definitely play some right wing. The supporters seem to respond well to your direct approach today. I play that way as it suits us. And uh, I try to strike a balance, but we look to attack, of course. Yes. Ooh, dang. Yeah, I know. Sorry for the span. Swampy Joe. No, I thank you. I have my Discord notifications off, so I would have missed that if you had not come over and said something. They're too good to struggle for much longer. I don't know, boss. They're literally in 23rd more than halfway through the season. They might just be bad. Hold on. You on 700 viewers and Keg Man plays is still on 10. The Keg average is a lot more than 10 viewers, dude. I love Keg. He's a great streamer. I'm looking something up, Chad. I'm looking something up that if Ian, uh, I would be very embarrassed if I did not know. For some reason, I couldn't think of the name Ryan Giggs. And I have no idea why, because I know who Ryan Giggs is. I even know, you know, that I know his story. I know about his great goals. I couldn't think of his name. Because all I wanted to say after somebody made that John Terry joke was, no, the manager of Cuckfield Town is Ryan Giggs. Yeah. Yeah. But I just couldn't think of the name. If you watch it back, you watch that moment. I'm sitting there shuffling through the mess of a folders in my brain looking for the name. Yeah, I know it's his brother. How weird is that? It's so bizarre. But, I mean, I don't really don't have Thanksgiving, but like what would Thanksgiving dinner be like? After that, can you have Thanksgiving dinner? Wait, Yunyao lost? I was I just assumed that they were winning every match for the rest of the season. Spooky Alien, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for spending Jeff Bezos money to be a part of the Hammers. Thank you for just being super hot and smoking sexy. Ryan Giggs banged his brother's wife for years. And then eventually they figured out about it. Like it's okay. Right, let's create tiers of being just a human being, right? So you have like, I don't really know the John Terry thing as well as I know the Ryan Giggs thing, but I'm sleeping with, you have, you, you have sleeping with somebody else's wife, right? And obviously the wife is culpable in this too, but we're just looking at it from the point of view of footballers that are bad people. And then we have John Terry or like, who was it? Hazard and De Bru Somebody slept with De Bruyne's wife on the Belgian team. Whoever's sleeping with your teammates' wives, that's like the next tier. You really don't do that because that in particular is just not cool, bro. Courtois, thank you. So is Courtois. Well, yeah, okay. I'm mean, Courtois, really? Have you seen him? He looks like Dumbo. Anyways, the... <laughs> and I'm very aware that I look like I have an airplane hanger on my forehead, but that's like not the point. I feel like if you were going to sleep with anybody in the world, why would Thibaut Courtois be like the pick right there? I don't know. Anyways, then the next tier is gigs, right? Your brother's wife says Megamind. I'm aware of this, right? He looks like a giraffe. Everybody looks like something. Your bro, like, I know some people like don't like their brothers as much as other people don't like their brothers, but like your brother's wife. Yeah, being a good player doesn't mean you're a good person. I think in any sport that is true. Yeah, and it will like that. The old French national team with Benzema and just because the names are completely eluding me, the dude with the scar on the side of his face, he was like a horrible person too. Wait, wait he's still playing somewhere. 
Dude, I need to get more sleep. <laughs> Frank Ribery. That's his name. Goodness. Ryan Giggs and Frank Ribery, just not. Yes, obviously. I've thought, who else could I possibly be talking about? Got in a car accident when he was a kid. Now, Ribery was a bad person, but for all other reasons, I don't even want to get into on stream. That's how bad it was. He played 12 years at Bayern. I mean, like, I know who he is. I, I see his face. I watched him play a ton just for whatever reason. The because I got five hours of sleep last night, the name was just like, Phew! you know, yeeted itself halfway across the room. Well, here, here's what I don't understand, right? Here's what I don't understand. Somebody like, oh, just get an escort, right? Well, I, that's legal or illegal wherever you are. I'm not going to get into that. But, like, Hugo Lloris, right? Hugo Lloris gets... <laughs> Hugo Lloris gets arrested for drunk driving after winning the World Cup with France. Here's my thing. If I call an Uber driver, right? Or maybe I flag a taxi because I'm hammered and I shouldn't be driving home. And I go, hey, man, I'm Hugo Lloris. Setting aside the fact that you're worth probably a hundred million dollars and you can afford the taxi, right? You can pay someone to drive you to the club in your fancy car and then drive you home. Setting aside all of that, you're telling me the taxi driver that you stop and go, hey, I'm Hugo Lloris. Really need to get home right now. Super, super drunk and uh, just kind of want to go to sleep. That dude's not going, oh, this is awesome. Y I'm driving you for free. Yes. Did this, I fail to understand. It boggles the mind how someone like Hugo Lloris can get a DUI. How, well, I mean, how anyone, I guess, can get a DUI, right? But when you have... Like two of the biggest obstacles to your drunk brain to get over is like, oh, I don't want to leave my car here. You can pay someone to drive that car for you. One, two, right? Oh, I don't want to pay for the cab home. You can, how much is Tottenham paying you? 20 million a year? I don't know. Pay for the cab. Not to mention they'll give it to you for free. It's like, and then you've got Grealish who's like driving home from training going 300 miles an hour. Like, dude, I, if I am Aston Villa, I'm like part of the contract. You can't drive. We are hiring you a full-time driver. You can't drive. You're an idiot. I love your calves. Your hair is great. You get all the ladies. Congratulations. Wear some actual shin pads and we're paying for a driver for you. Yeah, it's like, oh, you don't want the Uber guy putting his drunk ass on like, you know, Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Okay, that makes sense. But then just pay for a driver. It's really like you pay somebody $40,000 a year. They'll just be your personal driver. And that is uh, pretty easy to swing, right? Rich people can still be cheap. I know. I'm just saying that it's not the time to save a few bucks when you really don't need to save a few bucks. Yeah, I mean, I, and I'm not the people I'm, you know, Larice and Grealish are not the only people this has ever happened to. It's happened to other people. The Balotelli way of being a pro. Now, Balotelli just... The Balotelli's had a complicated life. I, I I struggle to blame Balotelli for all, all the ways that he's acted out in his life. Anyone seen a picture of Ryan Giggs' brother's wife? Gah. That is not relevant to the conversation. I'm going to nip this in the bud right now, though. Stop talking about the ribbery thing. Because that is a whole ball of wax that I do not want to touch with a 10-foot pole. If you want to Google it, you can Google it. But my goodness, stop talking about it. Like yesterday. It's one thing to talk about, like, oh, Cuckfield Town. Like, haha, but...
I think it's our last, uh, second to last wave of trialists expiring. How is Kevin Casado still here? I could have sworn I've gotten rid of him three times. How on earth is he still here? I love how I, I like answer the question on deadline day to talk to the media and then he's like, what do you think about Jushi Long? And I'm like, I don't have time for these questions. Can the new gen face, hold on. Can the new gen face pack put faces to a new gen staff? Uh, I, I've had some people say it can't work, but then other times, uh, I, I believe that it can work, but I've had people tell me that it can't. I have never tried it and I'm sorry. I wish I had more information. It's not what it was built for initially. And we're still trying to make it perfect for what it was built for. I think Hoppy has a chance the World Cup squad too. He's on fire right now. Uh, man, Jushi Long is bad. Let's just go ahead and release this poor guy. We've had him as a free player at the club for so long. I almost feel bad. I al almost, almost feel bad for him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <clears throat> ladies uh, and gentlemen, welcome to Zealand News. I'm your host, Zealand. Uh, today, uh, today, We would like to announce the signing of 21-year-old forward and uh, general extraordinaire Tiago Nuss, a signing that has only been allowed because of our tremendous efforts and confidence in ourselves to tell the board we would guarantee promotion this season uh, in order to uh, <clears throat> in order to secure more funds for acquisitions. So, 21-year-old Argentine Tiago Nuss, we are excited to welcome you to the club. Uh, let me be the first to shake your hand firmly and look you in the eyes for an uncomfortable length of time just so that the photographers can appropriately take the right pictures of this moment. Thank you, Tiago News, for existing. You're going to be playing on the wing. Life is good. You are here for this moment. Say hi to YouTube. Joe PJH, thank you for the three months in the Twitch Prime and welcome to the Hammers joining the Legends. Well, uh, I just mixed up what I was reading. Joe, I, you've been here for three months up the Dragons. I got you. Welcome to the TTS uh, and welcome to the cooked bacon land you know it's spooky alan that just got here joe you've been here here's your you know here's your free drink welcome to sam's club it's good noosey tiago noose he's at the club chat what a signing tiago noose Uh, God, this is gonna be so fun. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I can't even begin to tell you. Eric Mend. Oh my goodness, Eric. He is not. Eric, 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 let me tell you, man, he is not playing your position. Then he become a major issue. I'm concerned that Tiago News was signed to replace me. I'm not signing him to play your position, dude. Eric, Eric, listen to me, Eric. Eric, literally anyone else on earth before you, okay? He's a different, uh, like, he's the same type of player as Mendez, but he's a different type of player than Mendez, so... The way we're going to use him, watch, is we're going to take Tiago Nuss, who is there, and we are going to boom, 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 uh, and then we are going to run him. Yeah, we're going to run him as an inside forward. 
because he's a really good dribbler. He's got great agility. He's an electric kind of off the ball player, uh, but he's not he's not a brilliant goal scorer. He's just a super explosive player. And that's why that's why we've acquired him, chap. And so wait, we just have to not have Holland and Kiros as our substitute midfield. We have to have like Izada for Kier for yeah. And then we still we still comply. And then this becomes our regular kind of starting team. I'm so happy with that. All right, Matt's house. Uh, we, one more signing. Where's Matt house? Felix, the Madhouse. Felix Matthaus. Felix Matthaus. That's uh, that's the appropriate pronunciation. Is you curious? It's really not worth losing him over one thousand dollars. So, all right, Felix Matthaus, welcome to the club. Get him signed up, get him registered, drop our third string goalkeeper. We're ready to go. Hey, what's up, man? Diogo Bronco could be leaving. Uh, they, they have to make it a very good offer to sell right now. Because we like having four or five center backs that we don't loathe putting onto the field, right? Casado on, like, how is this dude still here? I thought I got rid of him already. Wow, that guy's good. Weirdly, weirdly good for how low his star rating is. Very bizarrely good. <laughs> Thank you. Finally found somebody that I can get rid of. I'm going to keep Kennedy, too. Okay, finally. No. Literally just a worse version of Julian Ramirez, that guy. Lucas Moda, gone. Loran. Gone. Didi! Nope. Alright, uh, we're, we're cleaning up our trialists slowly, slowly but surely. Let's get him out of there. Let's sign Felix Matt's house. Hopefully the board doesn't get mad at us for signing Matt. Let's go, baby. Felix Matt's house. We've got a speed center back substitute to replace Ivan Diaz as our bench center back. We are on fire, chat. You are weak somehow tactically. Says Klimo. <gasps> I will break you up if you play against me. See, I've had I've had some weird exchanges, and you might be the guy that was messaging me like, dude, play me right now. There was this dude that was like, yo, play me. You're scared. You won't play me. And I'm like, I really just don't want to, you know? And Klimo, you might destroy me, but I am very good at the game, you know? I never said I was the best in the world, but I'm not bad. Why are you playing a right-footed player as as an inside forward on the right? I've been doing that for most of the season and nobody said anything, Bob. Why are you scared? I am. I'm terrified. Yeah. I quite honestly, I've I have never I've never actually been more scared of anything in my life than how scared I am of this right now. Yes. Is that the equivalent to fight me solo after school? Like, this, is, this has been like happening recently. Okay, I'm going to put somebody on blast here for a second. And I don't even know if that's like a good idea. And it's not, it's not. Like, I, I you know. I, I, I don't know. I, th this was just really annoying me. And I'm not an easy person to annoy, man, right? I'm not an easy person to annoy. Okay, but th this happened today and I was like, bro, 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 dude, 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 dude. And I answered, I read and answered every time I read and answered every time, right? And then I know you're busy, but thanks for not replying. I'm like, bro. It's like, it's been like a day 
It's been like two days. I've answered every time. This man, I'm pretty sure he's messing with me, to be perfectly honest. The dude was trying to install, he was trying to download and install the Bate save file, right? He was trying to download and install it, but like, I, I don't know how else to handle that than to just like, I, 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 it's kind of funny to just like show you guys and be like, bruh, like am I crazy? I, I'm not crazy here, right? He was trying to download and play the Bate save file on mobile, but he didn't tell me it was on mobile. He was just like, it's not working. I'm like, what do you mean it's not working? Let it go. I know. No, it didn't. I, I was just, it, I gave sent me that message this morning and it kind of went in line with like, I, they've just been, there's like some weird people around lately. Some weird people around. Odd, top of the league. Odd, top of the league. Hope you're having a decent 2021 so far. I'm having a great smile. 2021 so far. Thank you so much, Jordan Milley, for the six months and congratulations on the silver bacon. Now that dude had no idea that I was going to talk about that. It was just so weird this morning. I was like, man, dude, I would like, I've read hours of messages from this person and helped them out of like in a bunch of different stuff. And I didn't respond for a day. And he's like, <gasps> the annoying part is that guy's going to tell all his friends and family, no, the guy on Twitter or the guy here. I don't know. Any weird experiences being an internet persona? That's usually it. You just, there's just like people ask you for money all the time all the time and the first time it happens you're like oh you know this is like it'll be some heartbreaking story or something be like hey man you know my family hasn't eaten for the third day in a row like yeah i think my little brother's gonna starve soon like can you send us some money and i'm like dude i'm literally sitting here watching like the office with my hand in a bag of chips how am i the <laughs> I'm like dude all the money i make i spend on like the you know i'm a student i don't need it so i i take the money like being part of the hammers and everything and i hire reese and i hire sam and i hire elizak and i I put all this stuff together, right, with that money. That's what I do with it. And I'm just like, dude, probably a bad time, but uh, I need a dollar, yeah. So uh, if you're, the question is like being an internet persona, right? What's the weirdest thing about it? It's definitely the long pleas of people asking for money. Because it happens a lot. I went without a sub to your channel for days now, at least one, maybe send me some cash so I can sub, dude. Yeah, if, if I could, to, to paint the picture of the things you don't see about being an internet persona, that's probably one that you didn't think about because there's a lot of people on the internet. You know. Twitch streamers aren't all billionaires. I know. Signing right back with run ball through the center, a bad idea. I would try and turn that person into an inverted winger on the other side. I'll change my name to Reese now. Give me money. I pay I pay a wage to everybody named Reese in the United Kingdom. You want to know why I'm broke? <laughs> you know Bezos, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. First name basis. I have his third jet. Wait, hold on. Casado, right. Sorry. Generic trial question. I can answer that and get through this. How dare Zila not be psychic and fulfill our needs before we even know we have them? Dang it. I know. I've been practicing too. I sit there in the mirror for five minutes every day, like. <laughs> yeah, it just makes the neighbors a little uncomfortable, but I'm convinced eventually I'm going to be able to take the mirror off the wall. And that's what it's, that's what we do it for. Aliashin to loan him out. I mean, yeah, like I would love to loan him out, but nobody freaking wants him. I offered him out. Nobody wanted him. I'll do it again. I'll, I'll, I'll freaking do it again. I'll do it again, man. I swear. I'm going to do it again. Why is it in staff responsibilities what I'm looking for? Like, why, why, why is this here? 
instead of in the transfer section like the scouting or transfer section or something right like why 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 do i have to set my loan preferences there how does that make any sense at all and i i'm supposed to loan stimulus too so let's try that Sounds more like you sit on the toilet and practice something. I mean, I've been eating a lot of bananas recently, so, like, practice makes perfect. Right? I actually, let me tell you, here's the truth about bananas, chat. You buy them... And you never eat them, okay? It's happened three consecutive times to me. It Harris I put them in the oven. I cook them in the pan, right? They just don't taste good, you know? I never liked peeling them either, so you just grab them and bite it off right there. I literally, three straight times I go to Harris Teeter, I walk by the bananas and I'm like, oh, you know, bananas gonna do a lot of things with those buy them and then they just like they go bad in like 12 hours right they you put them on the table and then all of a sudden you wake up the next morning and they're rotten and you're like what the f happened what excuse me hey zealand i've been watching your youtube videos for a while new here on twitch thank you for making the jump johnny we're glad to have you let's dance What is the point of the save you're currently playing, bruh? Win the Champions League. Bruh, I got it. Cat jams ever. Dude, I freaking love the cat jams so much. Iron Grip, thank you for the prime. Welcome to Hammers. Yes, I was just like, well, I'm kind of new to Twitch. Well, that's Twitch, Johnny. So welcome to Twitch, right? TJD, thank you for continuing your gifted sub from Reed. The Mead. The legend himself. What's the point of anything? Dude, I don't know. Bananas go rotten. I get my backside kicked in Civ every night by the same kid. I'm trying, chat. That's my new thing. I'm trying to get really good at Civ, but Antarx is abusing me right now. You're the divine mix of Ballerina and Michael Jackson. So sick. So good. I low-key live for freelancer coming around. So the key, I just offered, the, it's true. I, I just offered those two guys out so they wouldn't be mad at me. Much talking between many clubs, my lad. Much talking between many clubs, but a great transfer window. We've acquired a superstar difference maker. We have acquired a very good center back that we like. Very pleased, obviously, we brought Abdullah Conde back because he's already scored a couple of freaking bangers. Dude, Yun Yao, I can't believe they lost. And then Larusa won their match in hand. They beat Silgueros the 66th minute goal, so they're in second. Why can you not just die? Somebody, I want to create some distance. I want comfort. What an absolute tear. I expect to be able to achieve comfort when we're on this kind of winning streak. Relatively quiet transfer window. We signed three people in January. What are you talking about? 
We're top of the league. We made three signings, and you're like, damn, that was a quiet window, man. If we're all asking for money, can I have what I spent on the chair back? <laughs> Chester, I can send you the chair if you want. I can tune you in Civ 5. No, yeah, it's Civ 6, hideous, with all the DLC. We're just really getting into it. This is the 38 games. 46, dude. It's a 46. That's the, the matches are about to like the mat. We're literally going to have a match every four days until the end of the year. <laughs> it's nuts. The the back half of this season is wicked because now we're, we're literally at the end of January. We've played 26 matches. We have like, what? 20 matches left to play in three months. Yikes. Yeah, see where you... Uh, Gustavo Aguiar, they're going to get real mad at me for this. He's not registering. Literally loaned him in and just didn't register him. Stonks. I am Oriental Dragon in the third division of Portugal. We started in the original third division, got promoted out of that to the newly formed third division, then finished fourth in the newly formed third division last year. Now we're top of the league. Sit alongside your new arrivals, Matt House, and, uh, well, just little, Matt, little, little, little Felix is here. That's about it, though. Uh, what about the, the Nusi? We'll play a big part in our success. Uh, yeah, he can lead this club to glory. Look, he's a great player. Matt House can produce some big games, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Noose, the sort of player who can make a difference when Oriental Dragons need him. I have the utmost confidence in, in Noose. How do you think Oriental Dragons squad will react to new survival? Everyone's really happy, looking forward to playing with him. Except for Pedro Prezeras, who just lost his starting spot. Uh, but hey, don't get hurt, and that won't happen to you. I'm uh, just kidding, it still would have. Who's injured next match? Prezeras. Have we played a game on the stream today? Yes, Twigs. We played two. We won 7-1 to one and 5-2, to two, so we're flying. If Bate approaches you, would you accept? No. We want to win the Champions League. We want to win it with this club. And that's that. Is it crazy Oriental Dragon doesn't have a Wikipedia page? Let's change that. This is a movement, chat. Let's change that. A movement. Stimulus no longer concerned about promise. Solutions given more time to keep the promise. Okay. Roman Bravo is in... This is the other really good striker. This Roman Bravo. All right, now that we're out of the weeds on a lot of our transfer or a lot of our trials, I feel like we can do this without it being super diseased. Uh, Noose is picked, though, so. When's this match? Is it the day before? Yeah, okay. Noose, you're not going. You are literally stepping straight into the lineup, my guy. But yes, for the people who are asking about, like, well, you're playing a right footed player as an inside forward. Uh, Afonso Valente, who has been scoring boatloads of goals, right? And you would agree Afonso Valente has scored boatloads of goals, right? Uh, he has been playing as an inside forward who is a naturally right-footed player. I kind of like it. Because the inside forward doesn't mean they have to be Aryan Robin smashing the ball from that area. It just means they get themselves in the middle and get involved. And an inside forward also looks to beat offside traps and get themselves completely behind the line all the time, which is exactly what I want him doing because he's really good in that position. All right, Andrade's gone. Roman Bravo. See, like, he's good, but he's just not quite good enough for me to want to acquire him. All right. Just not quite. Is it crazy or animal drag? Oh, shoot. I just reread a chat message for the first time in forever. We picked them because of their name. <sighs> I've let myself down. I've let everybody down. I reread a chat message. I mean, you don't bounce back from that. We have a counter. Would you consider doing your second save on this specific save file for continuity and to avoid the terrible first year pain that is experienced? I, I actually don't have a lot of first year pain. I don't like the first... The first year's not my favorite year, but it's not a bad... Like, I tend to always overshoot my first year. It's the second year that gives me problems. Yeah, a few of the Chinese trialists did kind of pan out, but not enough to where we wanted to sign them. They are trialing with us, though, as people we could add to the team and wouldn't lose. Tommy Stocks just got 85% on the CCNA exam.
Uh, Sporting and EL have been playing above all expectations and find themselves in 19th. How are you? You're just shocking the pundits by not being in last place is what, you, what, it's what you're telling me. Wonderful job in very difficult conditions. Um, I'm not being patronizing, though. They play a direct style of game. It's going to be a tough match, but, you know, I think we're ready for it. Uh, yeah, I'm not speculating on why somebody was put on the transfer list. Jal Pinto, there's not many better than him in the division. Why did I get such a complicated press conference for an away match against Sporting Ideal, man? It's Sporting Ideal. They're 19th. The dude literally asked that question. They're in 19th place, and the guy goes, um, um, <clears throat> what do you think of Sporting Ideal's overachievement this year? Uh, I've really shocked a lot of the pundits. Hey, Zeeland, can you rename reporters? If so, can you give us an option to name a reporter in the game? I don't think I can do that, actually. I'm sure you can. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you can. I don't know how to do it. Will you be on the streamer showdown? Do, 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 do. What streamer showdown? Hey, the last couple of Chinese dudes. Time to start going for the month longs. Asian Arandonich. Z Turbo. Oh, sweet. Hey, uh, Diogo, just put some work in. Get over that hernia, right? Which I'm pretty sure you just sit there and watch TV. So live your life. You can only rename them with a database change. So you can't do them active in the game. Kev is last with Isle of Man in tier seven. Just goes to show that all those streamer showdowns are fluke. I, you know, they are. I'm all in on Ramirez getting above a 7.4. Ooh, okay. Fred the Farmer, thank you for the three months and the Twitch Prime. Taking advantage of 15 free dollars from Jeff Bezos to get yourself into the hammers and keep yourself in the hammers. That's ingenuity, creativity. Z Turbo, best name in the game. Unfortunately, not good enough. Rendonich. Well, he's 32. He's getting worse. I think it's time we cut ties. And then we have Wu Wei and Wu Xinhan. Honestly, I would not mind having Wu Xinhan. I would kind of want to have that guy on my team right now. I'm not kidding. Unfortunate, you know, but I kind of want to have him on my team right now. I don't know if I have the registration spot to have him on my team, but I want to have him on my team. Ah, they're in 20th. They're in 20th now. I don't know if that, like... Are they all of a sudden below expectations now? Like, what happened? No, that's a real player. Zeturbo is a real... He's Gene Bissau. This is a real picture, right? He's not bad. He's playing for either Grasshopper or Nantong. Maybe Schaffhausen. I don't even... He could be playing for three teams at the beginning of the game. Oh, my God. Yun Yao lost again. This is our chance. We can get 6.6 6 points clear of everybody outside of the promotion area with a win here. This Yun Yao just went out and lost again to Lusitano Evora, not Lusitano Lavora. Lusitano Evora is bad. Oh, my. They lost to a 21st place team, one nothing. Pouring out for the homies. That's that's rough. It's been uh, quite the incredible journey for Yun Yao, but they are uh, they're choking. Yun Yao is letting it slip right now. And the nation of Zealand is still a conspiracy theory. <gasps> do, 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 Did someone do, do, say conspiracy theory? So he's on Grasshopper in real life. Thank you, Gendo. Yeah, so he's a real player. Say Turbo, pick him up. At one point in FM, it's possible to have a midfield consisting of Gary Speed and Andrew Tempo. And then you played a slow game, compact line, right? Low tempo, extremely direct. I see you. I know how you I know how you play that position. Oh, the nation of Zelandia. Yeah. Well, 
Didn't we found a nation on my forehead? Now that might sound weird. But we were trying to come up with an appropriate definition for a nation and then realized that the definition that we'd created for a nation meant that we could crown my forehead as the nation of Zelandia. All right, to dump Diogo is Zada. Zara's got what? Clearance for fitness test not required. Oh, okay. That means Nazinho is dropped. I need... The issue now is that I actually have to put a... Portuguese player there. And when we have to put a Portuguese player there, guess who? Freaking Brash is back, baby. You literally can never count him out. Literally can never count him out. I hate that. I, I wish I could say it was Conde that was going to be picking him up, but it's probably a center back that would be picking him up in that position. And I don't want that to happen. All right, boys. The debut of Tiago News with Eric Mendez and Julian Ramirez and honestly on Julian to be working on uh, an inside forward for him too just just a little side project and maybe we switch tiago noose up play him as like a deep lying forward with eric we got a lot of options now because we have three real stars up at the top of the formation i've been saving the number 11 for you tiago you look good out there man you look good out there is this tactic downloaded or you created it i created it I, I don't like downloading tactics. Uh, it makes, you know, his tactics were always the thing that challenged me, I want to say, the most in the game. But yeah, this tactic's actually been a huge hit for a lot of people. I uploaded it on FM Base after our first two seasons, made a video about it and such. Uh, I think with their current form holders, you have to consider them contenders. Lusitano LaRusso, well, they are on a run right now. We're in a great place right now. We need to keep that going. We need to keep that going. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Downloading tactics, the same thing as using money cheat on Sims. I mean, look, it's a video game. Play it however you want to play it. If you don't want to deal with tactics and you want to worry about signing the players and whatever, then do that. Yeah, I think, but I think if you win the champ, you know, I won the Champions League in six years, then you probably, for fairness, you want to disclose like, well, you know, I downloaded this tactic, but I was able to put a team together within this tactic. I won the Champions League. They're like, oh, okay, it's cool, sick, you know. And then that's the whole conversation. Nice job. I think where people get frustrated is when you get somebody downloads a tactic that's like gone through a tester and is really good. And then like does something pretty incredible and goes, oh my God, look at me. I did this all by myself. Look at this. Boom. Yes. Ha-ha! Stop the gatekeeping at once. Exactly. What's up, Neeson? We're the anti-gatekeeping patrol. Nice play. By Luca Vandergeg. There you go. Ramirez. Eric Mendez. Somebody find Tiago Noose, please. Is oddly. He should have laid that off. Noose. gorgeous the noose effect Abdelay Conde scores bangers with the regularity with which Abdelay Conde just destroys the ball oh this I don't 
I don't have words. Oh, I'm, I would I would kiss this man on the lips right now for this. Oh, like what? He leathered that ball. He could cut grass with that. And Alaba can ask for whatever he wants, but oh, you can actually hire him to mow your lawn with that volley. That is ridiculous, dude. Well, you just, it's technique. I mean, you want to see the technique attribute in, in action, right? He's backpedaling, but he gets his footwork right. And the way he catches the ball, oh, Yuli, he's still going to score. Oh, Yulian. Egg in his face, but he's got the goal and it's 2-0. If you download a tactic and modify, is that cheating? Uh, I mean, no. Look, I don't think downloading a tactic is cheating. You just mention it. Like, if you do so, there's still so many things you have to do that don't have to do with the tactic or, like, in order to be able to win anyways, so. Julian Ramirez. Let's go, dude. We can get six points clear right here. Claudio, Abdelay. Abdelay is so good. It just took him a little while to get comfortable at the beginning of the season. But since we brought him back here in January, he's like a baller. Oddly. Come on, Amine. Come on, Amine. Oh, easy. Why? He's always there. He's like Chicharito in his prime. He's just always there. Literally always there. Eric, where's the ball? There's Eric Mendez with a freaking, a feathery, a feathery touch. Downloading a tactic or copying it is definitely cheating play with other guys. Well, here's the issue. You know how many tactics have gone through the tactic tester? Where do you draw the line? Like, oh, your tact, you know, your tactic has the same shape as this one from the tactic tester that finished in the top 20. Like, you can't use it. You know, where do you draw the line? Eric Mendez literally a magnet. In that touch, I mean, he just... The ball just dropped dead right when it got to him. Oh, Sandro. Okay. Love that. Bold and aggressive. Oh, yeah. Forced mistakes. He's in. He's, he's going to cook this guy. Come on, take him on. Don't just... He could have gotten a much easier shot if you took him on off the dribble. You should have faced him up and tried to beat him off the dribble because you, you, you've got more athleticism, probably just more ability than that guy's got. Uh, we good, Sergio? Okay, thank you. How big a difference do your manager attributes make and how well a team does? An endeavor I've never... No, 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 mm -mm. no, we're not letting this go. Nope, stop, nope, no. Okay, so we pick the ball up, right? Here we go, Sergio picks the ball up. Space is out for about 15 seconds, right? Luke is standing right next to him. Now he punts it off the post. Nope. What? Huh? What? Yeah, so here, here is what I would say, like, downloading a tactic is more akin to. Downloading a tactic is akin to Googling how to beat a game or, like, how to beat a level. You, it doesn't actually do it for you, but it helps. So, like, if you're playing a strategy game, Civ, CK3, whatever, you Google, like, how to play as blank and it lays out like a way to play that if you can follow you'll do well right like a guide to win the game okay and in past years there have been tactics that broke the game that's different that's like using and abusing a glitch in the game but the way a game's set up now there aren't tactics that completely break the match engine for where you can get like unlimited 1v1s essentially nice touch come on noose <sighs> but it's just like looking up a guide about how to how to like beat beat a game. I think that's the best way to say it. That's the best way to say it. If you want to ask you a question on Discord, what time would you be online? Just shoot the message over and I'll get back to you. I cannot believe that stupid little punting thing just happened. <sighs> Ugh. 
Uh, just hold on to it for 10 seconds. No, we're not doing this again. Get rid of it. Thank you. Literally have quick distribution on for a reason. Don't want to let their central midfielders get back to those spots. That's a goal. Just terrible center back play. He ran across the back of both of you. Both of you. What about those who use the in-game editor? Well, then that's that's obviously like, you know, that's in a lot of games, that sort of stuff. Or maybe you want to just like change your reality. Way to promotion. Or maybe start on an easier difficulty, right? You start with a ton of money or something, a huge transfer budget. Highway to promotion, says I Chefo. Thank you for the three. And uh, congrats on cooking that bacon, Chefo. Hope you're enjoying the subscriber section of the Discord. Yo, Z. What you talking about, mate? Do you ever pro manager in real life? Only ever did original tactic work and never used someone else's ideas? Shake my head, man. I know. Managers in real life don't copy people either. A lot of years there were set pieces which broke the engine more or less, increased the chances of scoring. I mean, set piece, you know, the bright set pieces still increase your chances of scoring. Got offered a job. Turnover. Let's go. Don't get complacent, but I mean a... Um, I have faith in you. Amine Adli and Luca Vandergeg are not strong players mentally, and so we need to be able to to pull them back, achieve some sort of focus, because they get sad if you yell at them. That a boy, Conde. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Good play by Sandro Costa, because that was a problem. What made you manage in Portugal? Portuguese myself, love following the league. I wanted to do a climber, right? I've been starting in top leagues almost exclusively. I wanted to do some sort of climber in Europe where I started in a lower league. Uh, and I didn't want to do it in England, because everybody does it in England. And so I thought, well, who's got some weird lower league structure? Portugal. Boom. Looked around, found a club named Oriental Dragon. Match made in heaven. Once you find a club named Oriental Dragon, you don't look back. Oh, that got through the crowd. We are not playing concentrated right now. We are conceding obvious chances to a team that we shouldn't be. not that fast we just got to be able to take him away from the ball he just walks right in our defense has not been good on this on this stream in particular it's like we're there all right noose good header a two on two a boy eric way to stick to it we're in. Julian Ramirez. Oh, he dribbled him. I was wondering what he was going to do with that. He dribbled around him. Oh, love it. Love it, Julian. Make him pay. We are a hard team to go full throttle against because we make you pay. We've got two strikers that are very good. We've got Noose who's flying in from the right if he'd waited a little long. <laughs> that extra little touch. That goalkeeper looked like a fool. Looked like a fool. And that's a big goal for the people that wagered, I think, right? Because Julian Ramirez has got multiple goals. That means he's over a 7.4. Hey, oddly. I need to make a sub. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, just let that run. Um, Quinto up the side. Yes. Vandergeg not playing well. We'll give Ian, Ivan Diaz his last shout. Hey, Eric! It's Eric! Man, normally Eric is strong enough, physical enough to keep people behind him once he's ahead. That was rare. But a good goal to settle the nerves from Ramirez, definitely. How far through the season are we now? Uh, 20, this is match 26. So 20 matches left. Dude, are you serious? That's bad goalkeeping. 
I'm sorry. We should be able to give him that shot and that not be a goal. It's his first ever goal for Sporting EDL. I'm glad we could help. It's the right back. This is definitely the right back doing an inverted wing back thing. But... We cannot be giving up three goals to this team. I'm sorry. Our defense is bleeding bad. Our defense is bleeding bad. And we've been scoring so many goals in this stream that it hasn't mattered. But we used to have the best defense in the league. And I think we're now third before this match. And we allow three goals to, to this team. And like offense intended. This team's not very good. And we know that. And we've got a literally a tight mark on that guy and he gets barbecued. And now I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, Regista, yeah. We'll do Abdelay Conde as a Regista. Guess who, ladies and gentlemen? Guess who? Brash is in. Don't be bashful. It's just brash, baby. Oh, I don't like this free kick. Funzai, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for the five months. <laughs> you say you want to... Oh, dude. Nice. Love it. What a match. What a match we're having here. Preposterous. Aim for Eric Mendez with your pass. You probably should have brought the back line up a while ago. Dude's got a hat trick. This Gonzalez character literally has a hat trick. And that's how he got his hat trick. It's all right. Good one for the neutrals. Win at 5-4. Let's get on this ball. There we go. Up to Mendez. Down for Noose. Let's run with it, man! Laid on here. That's going to make all the difference. I need you to... I, you get it... It, you already have it on dribble more, dude. I need you to run with the ball more than you are, okay? I need you to run with the ball more than you are. That's what I need from you. Mendez. Oh, he's got Julian. That's not gonna... Oh, what a pass! Goal! Leave... Me alone. Leave me alone. Just let me win this game, dude. I'll do I'll do that, yeah. Haven't been in for a while. Well, welcome back, dude. I actually am going to keep that distribution, but we are going time-wasting. We are going standard. We are going positive, right? We are not not messing with these guys, dude. It's 5-4. He runs over to the Dragons fans. He's screaming. He's shouting. You know, the people are screaming back. They're like, Homie. we love you. It's Jean Pinto. What a run. What a pass from Julian Ramirez. It's one. It's like that Belgium goal against Japan. You knew it was coming and it was great. Oh, yes. Do you think the match engine is responsive enough to instructions? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I, it should never be completely responsive to instructions because then how smart uh, a player is at executing it, tactical familiar, familiarity and all those things wouldn't matter in a match. They need to matter. Is that's, you know, that's part of the game. Please be us. Get on the freaking ball. Just get on the ball. That's us. Bring it down. Okay. Noose. Conde. Diaz. Flick it. Eric, just shoot. I, I don't even care if it's not a good shot. I just want this to be us. That's fine. Great effort there, Shaw. 
Great effort there, bud. Don't ask. Seriously, don't ask. I'm not okay. Please don't ask. I'm begging you. Don't ask. Let's see how this plays. Oh, wow. Goodness. That's not a good spot to pop into. Good play by Ivan Diaz there. All right. Let's get on the ball, guys. Let's win this six to five and then berate the Holy Spirit out of our defense for whatever we. Am I making this up? Am I seriously making this up? I feel like I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm in some sort of nightmare. Like there's no, there is absolutely no way that just happened. There's, there's absolutely no way that just happened. They have 1.75. Six goals. 1.75 XG. Shoot. That hit my, that hit us. That hit our player who was offside. Noose. I don't know. I really, I don't know. It's the weirdest match I've ever played. What is that, Sergio? Oh my God. Flick it. Oh my God, we're on. Play the ball! He's offside. It was a four on one and you idiots can't stay onside. It was a four on one. They had one guy. Four on one. You have one job is to stay onside there, okay? Uno. Send it. Send it. Unbelievable. Most absurd match I have ever played. Hey, we out XG'd them by a lot. Dude, look at the XG on that last goal. Are you kidding me? Is that like 0.1? That was a goal. That little one. Yeah, that was deserved goal right there. Well, our goals are like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you know. Unbelievable. We just lost six to five to like the 20th team in the league. <sighs> we just lost six to five to the 20th team in the league. That is very hard to process. We had allowed what? 22 goals all season. How on earth did you lose that? Um, very disappointed we can't throw away leads like that. Once again, a late goal has ruined your day. Ah, yes, we're throwing it back to the old school Oriental Dragon. <sighs> yes, uh, do you think their late goal and it was... <sighs> I'm going to open my arms. I'm not going to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. 
freaking ambulance is here because my heart stopped. I don't want to talk. What, like, what is this question, right? Is it fair to say your pre-match praise? No, he's 20th in the f league. His team is terrible, okay? They had the match of their lives. Good for him, right? I'll wipe my tears with $100 bills because we're in a promotion right now, okay? Does that make you, <laughs> is that what you want me to say? I always disappointed if we don't get a good result. Yes. I felt we edged the first half, so it's disappointing. We gave up a goal right before the end of it. The match certainly entertained the fans. Um, I wasn't too impressed with our defending. Your team failed to see out the game from winning position. Are you worried by how many points you're throwing away? We have to keep our concentration throughout the entire 90 minutes. Thank you, guys. Bargain, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers, my dude. Soccer manager, thank you for the five months. Haven't been in for a while. Well, it's, it's good to see you again. It is good to see him. And Lusitana LaRusso won. Great. They have won like four or five in a row. But, I mean, that's what we do. We keep winning nonstop. So, you know, until we lose six to five. I've played three matches. I've scored 17 goals in three matches today. And yet somehow we lost one of those matches. Vandergig was terrible uh, in that game. We subbed him out before the real catastrophe started, but I think Felix Matthaus, uh is going to get the start today. He's going to get the start instead of um, Luca Vandergig. And he is a personal instruction, no nonsense, because he's so bad with the ball. But he is uh, he's a good center back, so... Give him a chance to do that. We saw precious little in a five-goal game from Tiago News, but uh, you know he's not Matt Sharp. He met the team a few days ago, so I wasn't expecting too much from him. I just wanted to get him on the field and start kind of warming him up to being a player for us. And oh, that was outrageous. That was unbelievable. That was unreal. That was uh, just, you know, everything that could happen, happened. Every shot they took, right? Vander, uh, Vandergeg is Dutch, yes. Oof. Recover from that one. Beat Lusitano Ovora, which they weren't home. They're 20th in the league. Go grab three points. Get us, I mean, shoot their offense scoring the way it is. It's hard not to be optimistic, but... I feel better. I feel better. Need help picking my next MLS save. I've achieved a good Nashville, Tennessee church to replace Jesus with Noel Bustos. <laughs> Jesus. Also done under Miami and DC. Austin, a good idea. Austin's fun. Portland, Portland's the fan base in Portland's huge though. Ah. Uh. Gary Boosie, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. How are they? These guys are just not ever athletic. Like, Vasco Tavares could be a good player for you. Like, well, kind of sucks. We could go for building... Uh... Oh, he wants actual money? He doesn't want the minimum? Oh, boo. Boo! Boo!
I like how a team trying to sign him notified me that he was a player that I did not want to keep around. <laughs> oh, I did. I completely forgot the uh, missed player lookup. I'm so sorry. I literally saw it and was like, oh, I'm going to do that right now. It's a great way to distract from the misery I'm experiencing. Momo Fanya Toure, 21-year-old striker at Colum in Guinea. He hasn't made his move yet, if that's the, the kind of point of curiosity. But let's... um. They rejected it. Okay. He's a regular player in Guinea. In the Guinean League, who you know. So. Is your player named Noose? Uh, speaking of that nut, is uh, Noose is German for nut? I actually didn't know that at all. But I should have known. It was auto. The wordplay was coming. If Auto Matrix has sent a message it's gonna be the wordplay has arrived you know Matthias Kaiser uh, Matthias Padilla should be seven lads trying to figure out who we're gonna keep around for the long haul before the next transfer window I already got everybody cool Dude, 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 dude. Six goals. Nightmare. Nightmare stuff. Jonathan Inciso. Interesting player. Very, very solid center back in CISO. Wagner, there's no way this dude's gonna... Damn it, why did you have to be good? I, I'm keeping too many people around. I've already got the Spanish left back around. Mateus Kaiser. Nah, I got my keepers. My keepers are sorted, Mateus. Thanks for playing. And then Alan, the Chinese midfielders, obviously. Gonna stay around. We need to do a lot of work on the trials with him to make sure we don't have to pay him the insane amount of money that he wants right now. Easy. Are we in the Champions League yet? No, we're in the third division. But we're on our way. Did you know you can automatically set the default trial length to four weeks in scouting? Yeah, but I don't always default the trial uh, to four weeks. May run down contract? Wait, why? This contract expired. Should expire the end of next year. Yeah. Okay, we're good. 53 days. He's going to be playing every time he's fit. I'm not worried. He's fine. All good. Hello, boy. What's up? Marcelo, how you doing? You any luck with cup runs yet? Nah. Uh, two third round exits, Natasha to Portugal. We gave Porto a good game, though. What about now? You in the Champions League now? Yes. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is noted. I cannot wait to get it. I cannot wait to get to this game, get into this game, and kind of just handle this game i want to i want to go out and get a win and get this taste out of my mouth we got to wait a whole week we aren't gonna have to wait a whole week for the rest of the freaking season we gotta wait a whole week after that match stimulus um Zeris, yes. Guillerme, yes. Rui Pedro, yes. Alinho, yes. Gustavo Aguiar. Yeah, all you guys. Lancia, Lucien, Fang Ping. Youth players, you're in. Except for Madhouse and Noose, you guys are up. Have fun! Looks like a great friendly. You guys are... I'll bring the orange slices, you know. Have a good time. Ah, my 
third string keeper. Get your virus out of here. The guy that trains well, he really doesn't get better, does he? It's a shame because he's like a young player that we're hoping gets better. About to sign a goalkeeper with good technicals, 14 eccentricity. Will I regret it? No. If he's the best goalkeeping option, the eccentricity is just there and it's probably going to cost you one goal. Maybe save you a goal because he's unpredictable. Any Americans watching you, um, uh, your lives on YouTube in America, they don't really know how to play football. I mean, again, that's just wrong, right? We know that's wrong. We do we, we can we like Americans just don't really know how to play football. I mean, like Pulisic, Reyna, Weston McKinney chumming up with Ronaldo. You say Sergino Dest was raised in the Netherlands, and that's fair. He came through a Dutch academy, but kid's American too. Timmy Way, Zach Steffen is kind of playing for Manchester City, right? Matthew Hoppy's scoring a bunch of goals in the Bundesliga all of a sudden. Sargent plays all the time there, right? Chris Richards plays for Bayern's best team in the world. I mean, he's a backup, but he's still there. So, like, other than those guys, Americans can't really play. So, I guess I see your point there. Like, an indubitably top 30 national team, right? Conrad De La Fuente is also on Barcelona, you know? He might he might know how to play, but I'm not really sure. But the point is to share up. The point is that the idea that Americans don't really understand the game or can't play the game is a bit outdated, I think, at this point. And that's the argument I'm making, Tashera, is that the idea that Americans don't pay attention, don't care, and don't understand the sport, and my existence is kind of proof of that, is antiquated. It's old. Reyna was born in Sunderland, so English. That's the easiest troll comment of all time. His U.S. national team father was playing for Sunderland at the time. If nobody knows that story. So he was... Reyna was born in England. It is available to play for England, but ha. You miss Musa? I, yes, Eunice. He plays all the time for Valencia. Yes. And then, of course, the women's national team, which is quite literally the best women's... Like, the women's national team is the best in the world. And you can discount that, but that's half the sport. Right? But when Americans play, they don't want to score. They win, they get the ball to the posts. I, um, so, okay. When Americans play, they don't want to score. They do. They score a lot, actually. Just like Holland, born in Leeds, nobody can see. Yeah, that's true. Holland could also play for England. Get Gio Reyna and Holland on the English team. I want to see a positive reaction. We got one of the best attacking records in the league. It all starts with hard work. Uh, it's vital to get a lot of your points at home. Um, Vandergeek's actually not playing today, so stop asking about him. How important is Afonso Valente to your approach? Uh, well, we, we always, we're always leaning on Afonso Valente to be a playmaker, to be a guy that can find the pass for us. So um, this is, you know, that's not going to change. That is not going to change. We're always going to be leaning on them to, to produce. To produce something for us. That's what we're looking for. People really... I mean, people want to... Americans are very hateable, right? Like, it is super easy to dump on Americans, right? For a lot of reasons. We're kind of annoying, you know? And one of the things the world's been able to gatekeep the U.S. on for a long time is the world's game. Soccer, football, whatever you call it. I can tell you it's not a surprise to me because people my generation growing up, we all know the Premier League. We know the teams. We know the players, right? Kind of. Yeah, okay, fair. We're very annoying, but it's not something that can, get, can be reasonably gatekept anymore. I found out I can preserve my cardboard box by using my free Prime sub. Save your cardboard box today, too. Yeah! Seven months and $30 of Jeff Bezos money from Villaku with the Twitch Prime again. Thank you, man, for being a part of the Hammers. You kind of suck at football. I mean, like, we do, we just don't. Right now? We, we, we just don't. Yeah, we lost to Trinidad and Tobago, but... England lost to Iceland. Trinidad and Tobago is obviously worse than Iceland, but the U.S. is obviously worse than England, too. That doesn't mean that we can't play. 
Jack, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the hammers, my dude. What do you think of Mexico's national team does consistently better than the USA's, even though the US exports more players to Europe? Uh, their domestic league is better. Mexico's domestic league is better, and it's the number one sport in the country. It's a huge country, and soccer is the number one sport. So, um, that being said, the rivalry is intense. So, I like to think that we will be beating them the next decade with the type of players that we've been putting out. Fickle personality means they have very high ambition. There aren't any rules mandating that only men play in a men's league, right? Um, honestly, I don't know. I mean, football, yeah, look, soccer is a big sport in the United States. It is more popular than ice hockey already, and it is close to baseball. I don't think a lot of people know that. You know, the U.S. got to the round of 16 at the last time they made a World Cup in 2014, so. Yeah, of course. An issue with soccer and an issue with sports in the U.S. in general is it's like always pay to play. Unless somebody else is paying for you. That's just like the U.S. The United States as a country is pay to play. So it's not like, you know, it's not, a, whoa. It's already close to baseball, yes. So in a poll uh, uh, that asked Americans to name their favorite sport. And I'm, I'm not like just shooting from the hip here. It's in a poll that asked Americans to name their favorite sport. Soccer finished fourth behind American football and basketball, which were way ahead, right? And then it was baseball and then soccer and then ice hockey within like a point of each other. I think it was like 10% said soccer is their favorite sport. So I'm not, I'm not just saying those. I like, I have that to cite. The U S is such a laughing stock for us Europeans. I'm telling you, this isn't like a warning. I'm just really like. I'm serious. The U.S. is such a laughing stock for us Europeans. Enjoy it while you can. Because there's one thing I can guarantee you. The United States national team is not going to get worse from this point. It is going to get better. Because once, she, once that genie's out of the box and every little kid's playing the FIFA video games... It doesn't go back in the box. So if you are able to beat us, enjoy beating us because we're not going to get worse. We're going to get better. Like a lot better. Our under 23 national team is like really good. Uh, he hasn't shown the, uh, if you're not going to play, I'm going to have to recall him. I'll try to help. Just leave him here, VS Boas, just a little longer, please. I don't want to lose Marquez, but he's really never going to play. Do you think it'd be good for the U.S.-Mexico uh, to play against teams from Brazil and Argentina? Yes, I think a Western Hemisphere World Cup qualifying would be good. There are too few teams in South America anyways. There are only, like, what, 11 countries in South America? They take Guyana, Suriname, and French Guinea and have them qualify through CONCACAF. But, like, if you put all of the countries in the Western Hemisphere together, it's less countries than Africa or Asia. And they can handle qualifying just fine. I think it would be great. I think it would be huge. For not just for us, for Mexico, for Jamaica. I think it would be huge for Costa Rica, for Honduras, to continuously have to raise your game to play against those teams. All well, you've been streaming for started March 2018 was my first stream, April. I think I started working on it in March, like putting the OBS together slowly over time. By May of uh, 2018, I was definitely doing it all the time. Rest of peace to Canada in that scenario. No, I mean, Canada's pumping out some good players. You're being naive. I, mean, I don't think I'm being naive. I wasn't, I, I was, no point was I saying it was going to happen. The question was, would it be good? And I was saying, yes, it would be good. And then I was saying it kind of would make sense because South America doesn't have that. But yeah, 
there's some obstacles. It's like the same as the argument for promotion and relegation in the MLS. It's like, yeah, it would be good. Everybody knows it would be good, but there's like real world bureaucratic obstacles to that happening. And those obstacles are people like giving up their power. Essentially, we need a win, boys. We need a dump truck win. We need a run this team over and out of the building win. Damn liberals always playing center forward against us. Unbelievable. Ugh. Can't, uh, you can't, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna own the libs right here, boys. We're gonna own the libs. Hold on, there's a dude yelling outside. Some dude screaming at his phone outside. Very bizarre. Uh, okay. Let's ride, pony boy. Felix Matthaus makes his debut wearing the number 19. In for Luca Vandergeg, who really let me down in the last match. Do you... I uh, know Syria does not get a lot of coverage in the US. I keep track of it some, but it does not get a lot of coverage. Jack, thank you for the Twitch Prime and welcome to the Hammers, man. And Carl Pilke, boys. Thank you for the two months of the Twitch Prime. Yes, yeah, suck a fat one, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Vandergeg is on the bench today. We're starting Felix Matos next to our captain, Sandro Costa. Um, uh, your computer's running low on storage space. Free up some storage space. Leave me alone, Windows. God. Let's show them why. The Zah. Do you stream every day? No. Couldn't do that, man. I take the weekends off. Apparently, we live on storage space in the streaming computer. That probably has something to do with the buffering, to be honest. Time to unload all those YouTube videos onto a drive. Get them off the comp. Liberal means the same thing in Portuguese, so his last name is literally liberal. That's kind of funny, actually. I didn't know that. I don't stream on Saturday. Not anymore. I saw your uh, video about playing uh, players being unhappy, but now moving to bigger clubs and wanting out of their contracts. But what about players that want a better contract, even though they've years left in their current deal? Same philosophy, or should you buckle and give it to them? I've never tested it, Solarius. I always just give them that... I give them a new contract if they ask for it, or if they're somebody I don't feel like I need, I'll look to sell them at that point. I've never gone the third route of, like, trying to wait out giving them a better contract. Oh, Yulian. I like where he is. He's going to have Noose in the box as well. Oh, what a ball is he on? No, he's not. Good luck, Conde. Good luck, Abdelay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Why? Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Nice tackle, Conde. Great ball. Mendez taking that aggressive touch. Looking for it. Noose. Mendez. Conde. Don't shoot. Thank you, Afonso. Oh. We look good, though. We're on top of them early. We're making plays. Oh, JJA with the two gifted subs. <laughs> Bacon everywhere. Thank you for the... You've got six gifteds now. Hilton, Magician, and Simmons. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. JJA playing some hero ball. Giving some, taking that next step. Giving some other people the opportunity to hang out in the subscriber section of the Discord and be a part of the Hammers, the emotes, and all that goes along with it. Mendez, please cross this. Oh, he does it first time, and he just missed. Oh. That looked really good. Pinto. Oh, yeah. Sandro Costa. He's not a great crosser, but he's not a bad one. That's my center back with the assist right there.
There we go, boys. Back on the saddle. Take the lead. Let's uh, let's hold on to it. Let's get a clean sheet today. I think a huge emphasis is to be able to get a clean sheet today. At home against the 20th team in the league. Let's keep them out of the goal, right? We just gave up six freaking goals to somebody. Let's keep them out. Uh, he's offside. He's very offside. Had a boy, Felix Matthaus. He's a brick. House. Oh, Julian. Julian. Noose. Oh, I, I, I kind of love that pass, actually, from Abdoulaye Conde. He just won a penalty. Oh, Joao Pinto, you nifty little left back. Just very rarely does something that I dislike. All right, Eric Mendez. It's been a while since we had a penalty, actually. Take a deep breath. Give it a smash. Oh, he sauced him. Sent him the wrong way. Tuck it to bed, Eric Mendez. 23 and 26 league matches. Kaiser, welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. 2-0 in 17 minutes. Oriental Dragons, top of the league. Once again. 1.62 XG to 0.05. We uh we we've kept our head. It's our mental toughness, you know. We get a we lose a match after a long winning streak. It doesn't matter, Sergio. Uh, eh. I was kind of worried somebody was gonna try and shoot there. Stuff gets weird. But he's got uh he's got options. Oh no. All right, Sandro. Conde. I mean, everybody was offside there, I'm pretty sure. Just didn't time that up right at all, Abdullah. My ball. My ball! Eric. Oh, my God. What a player. I mean, just... What a player. What a player, chat. I mean, what an outstanding player he is. with some obviously all right second half um i'm delighted look it's exactly the performance we needed after such a kind of heartbreaking defeat that we suffered we needed to go out there and take care of business. He's telling me we didn't get to that ball. Madhouse! First match. Scores the goal. Remember, we need seven to be safe. <sighs> Is he Romanian? Who? I, I don't have any Romanians on my team, if that's a part of the question. Wow, he got there. What a goal. <laughs> What a ball from Amine Oddly. Do you think of Mark McKenzie? He's a real rock solid player. You think he'll have success in Europe? Yeah, people have been talking about him moving. Him and Brendan Aronson were the two players that they were like, these guys are going to go to Europe. And now they're both in Europe, and I think they will both succeed, yes.
This is just pure Oriental Dragon right here. Unadulterated Oriental Dragon play style. Quick strike. How did the ball get all the way over there for that shot? Sansa Ramez taking the lead against Paredes. So we are very much still in a race here. All right, time to make some changes. I'm going to make three of them. Um, Claudio Tavares laying in a bit of an egg here. Um... Prezeris. For Noose, who's just not playing well, but that's okay. Um, and then Holland for uh, Valente. Yes. Big match coming up, and, well, you know, the next match is always the biggest match, so... Just do some things to uh, help our team rest. Not close down as aggressively and like to play Uber direct. Just send the ball up to Eric Mendez. Either he's going to do something with it or he's not. Well, good to know my defense went over trying to stop that run. Yeah, everybody's winning. Everybody's up by multiple goals that we're, we're keeping track of. Oh, Madhouse. But we are set for what looks like a clean sheet if we can hold down tight here. Nice way to bounce back after conceding six. That would be it. I haven't had really... Oh, Madhouse, dang it. I haven't had really acrobatic goals yet this year in FM. I haven't seen an over... I haven't seen like an overhead kick in two years. Now... But, I mean, I guess they're rare. I, I see, like, those side-winding volleys and stuff. We saw one very recently. Oh, yeah, he's got Ramirez. Is it a good idea to sell players to support a player you want to force out of the club for behavioral reasons? Uh, If you don't need him. I mean, if you want to have the player, you can definitely keep a player through them being mad at how you treat somebody else. Especially if they, they're just kind of mad. You know, if they don't really like the player you're getting rid of. It's like a 10-year captain of the club. That's going to be a problem, but. Is he on? Oh, no. Some reason that just feels cruel and unusual that I, I can't get the clean sheet here. I have to give up a... I, I mean, literally, they that highlight started with 30 seconds left of regulation. We give up so many goals really late on. Whether we make changes to stop them or not is just something... We give up a lot of goals really late on. We do. Yeah, we saved the clean sheet bonus. That's the bright side. The downside is that we just can't stop giving up goals. It's not like we lost our legs. We're coming in off a weak break. You know, if we're super tired at the end of the match, that makes sense to me, but geez. All right, what's up? How you guys doing? You once again came up with supremely impressive victory. Uh, we did our job. Madhouse, we had a good debut. He had a good solid game. He wants to build on it. Must be pleased with Ramirez's performances today. He's quality. Julian Ramirez is a great player. He wants to sign Shell Pinto. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, no. What do you have adopted about this tactical approach? I wouldn't say we're locked into it, but I mean, it, work, it works for this team, this group of players that we have. This is what they do. Whoa! Wow! Wow! Waffa88 with the five gifted subs. Waffa, thank you. La Force. Azra Line, Danushka, Lord Buckethead, and Arusan Over. Welcome to the Hammers and Wafa. Dropping the five bomb for 15 total gifted subs in a career that's quickly becoming illustrious. Whew. Wafa with the five. Five new people in the Hammers. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. 
Anyone able to put in the Hammers Discord when Z moves to Red Dead or is about to? Worried I will miss it as I've been zoning in and out. Uh, yeah, we'll, well, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, we will do that. Okay, Pinto has got a rest in this game. Serez Shaw Giedeme. Our new fullback substitute. So exciting. Yay. So we'll run Madhouse and Vandergeg for this match at Paredes. Because we've got huge matches coming up. We've got Lusitana La Russa after Paredes here. Just got to keep winning, then we can beat Lucid. And oh, dude, then we play Yun Yao. This is unbelievable. Dora in Mexico with the gifted sub to Stu Sereno. Wow. Top 10 anime betrayals. <sighs> Yo. Yo. Thank you for the gifted sub, Dora. Thank you for taking the step. Gift your second sub to the channel. And Stu Sereno, you're in the hammers, and boom, Noxie's like, I'm in too. But I'm in because Jeff, Jeff Bezos gifted to be my sub. Tiago Roos is our new signing. Yes. Have you seen any Fernando Torres photos recently? No. I don't spend my time Googling that. But Nox. Nox, make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy being part of an elite online gaming community. Welcome to the new hammers. Last time out against Devorah, you played well. Uh, yeah, no reason to doubt that we can keep playing that way. Not going to talk team selection, though. Mendez is among the league leaders in average minutes per goal. Every 92 minutes, he scores. Is there even more to come? He's got plenty more to offer. Absolutely. He's a great player. Uh, it would be a statement of our intent to take the top of the table. I mean, we're just going to go out and control what we can control. Look to pick up three points against Paredes here. Dude, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you see who we have to play in a row? Yo, Aniquio. Got you. Lupo! Top 10 anime betrayals. Wow. The gifted sub from Lupo, their first ever, dude. Yegalit, welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for the gifted, Lupo. Yegalit's got you to thank and enjoy the emotes, the bacon, the subscriber section, the Discord, the lounge, the competitions in there. Yes, hydrate, bro. I got it. It's not Dr. Lupo, you know, it's a Lupo. All right, Paredes on the road, then Lusitana, La Russa, and Union de Santarim. You win those two matches, and all of a sudden, this is looking real good. Somehow, Amine Adli's like not even cleared for this. All right. <clears throat> Oddly is getting that rest today. We're going to play Pedro Prezeris there. Play him on a wing, on attack. He uh, is a left-footed player. So we want to keep playing Tiago News, Sarek Mendez, and Ulian Ramirez. Uh, they're going to be able to play, I think, through the, these next two matches. We're just going to look if we take an early lead to kind of turn this down. I am going to use the fact that I can rotate my midfield to completely rotate my midfield. We'll go Diogo, Paulo, and Joe Holland. Because Izada's hurt. Um, Izada is hurt. We'll bring Lataro Kiros up for Brash. How, that, how can we not do that? Oh, I guess we can't. 
They're not swapping. Bring it for Oddly. Then bring Brash back in. How long I need Zada? He's got three or four weeks. Man, he's out for a while. That is unfortunate. Anybody else we'd think about resting, like uh, Claudio Tavares? We're, we've rotated the, the defense, so we've got Matthaus and Vandergeg because Costa's the oldest uh, backline guy. And we can... Uh, I, I feel comfortable playing Shaw Silva right back as well because these next two matches are going to be huge. We gotta make, we're got to make. we keeping the front three, uh, and we're playing some good high-level center backs because we want to make sure we can win this. But I'm going to use the fact that I have very good backup fullbacks and very good backup midfielders uh, to, to try and... Make sure we can win this match. Make sure we can win the next two. Why doesn't Zeeland want to look at ripped Torres? Fine, man. Just pumping some roids or something. Fernando Torres now. The surprising new look of Fernando Torres. We're going to hide it behind cookies and... um. Out here looking big. He's got a... His, I feel like his head's a little too tiny to be rocking this, you know? But I don't... He doesn't look like he's on roids. The dude just likes working out. Looking pretty beefy. Good for him. Definitely can't do that when you're actually playing. We owe Paredes. Apparently we lost to him last time. Let's go, boys. On the road. Let's go. Got to use the depth. That's what it's here for because we got a huge coming week. Huge week. Yeah, but we leave in the star-spangled front three of Mendez, Noose, and Julian Ramirez. The Noose is still just trying to find his sea legs in the team. Away. Thank you, Luca. Oh, come on, Eric. Just run. Literally just run straight. I don't think he can cover this angle. Ah, uh, he's drifting wide. All right, now slow down. Oh, nice pass. Hit it! Ah. Noose is frustrated with himself after that one. That's a really good ball. Let's go. That is how you hit an in-swinging corner. That right there is how you hit an in-swinging corner. This is wicked. He gets it up in the air. The keeper's not going to be able to get to this. Brings it down right on the spot. And Luca Vandergeg, the Dutch in the chat that we're rooting for the Dutch lad. Luca recovers. Yeah, you know, he, he's. I don't think he's permanently lost his spot in the lineup, right? I don't think he has. He just had a bad game. We all had a bad game. But Vandergeg does, he does good things, and he is a set, he is our set piece threat. Good recovery that time by Jao Paulo. I just love him to hit that towards the middle of the field, though. Because the middle of the field is where we essentially have a 50-50 to win the ball. Oh, Matt House. And then we got cooked. Oh, that should have been a goal. Woo, baby. I got one shot. It was a point four, And the dude just, he just snatched at it. He just didn't catch it well. Come on, Diogo Paulo. That was not very good. That, though, a lot better. How about the third one? That's the best one. <laughs> Third time's the charm, baby. Two nothing. Prezer is back from his injury with a saucy little takedown in the back of the net. Third time's the charm. When in doubt, just try and try again. Boom. Pedro Prezeris. Who, uh, he's carved out his role with the team. Uh, he's not a guy I want to rely on as a first team player. They're playing each other. Dude, what is this portion of the season? They play each other, and then I literally play both of them. Like, the top three in the league are all playing all of their matches against each other in the next week. That is insane. How do you score so many goals? Uh, well, it all starts with hard work, really. We also have very good players. I don't know how much Vandergeg weighs by now, but uh, we're really, we're trying to beef him up. Let's see, can we, can we look? 
I still 147. Vandergeg has actually not improved his weight since the last time we looked. We jinxed it. Oh, he's got to shoot. It's all right. Madhouse is actually pretty freaking fast. Paulo, you know, that's fine. Go back to Paulo. And again. Diogo Paulo is going to have 40 crosses in this game. Let's go! Diogo Paulo is celebrating by himself. Man's racking up the assists. That one just slips through and Julian Ramirez is able to snatch at it. 3-0. Traffic jam. Nobody gets to the ball. Hey, oh, it's, it's not a... I thought it was another corner. Wow, that was just terrible defense. Let's go, baby! For the first half. Oh, that was the bet of three and a half on goals scored. Well, that's unfortunate. We definitely, uh, hopefully put this to bed now. Um, you might be winning. That could all still change. I do want to keep our focus. And uh, about 15 minutes into the second half, I'm going to start making changes uh, to the tactics and to the personnel for fitness sake. Just don't want to let them get the momentum in the second half here. But we will try and preserve the fitness of our forwards, of course. We will make a sub up there. Uh, uh, great that we were able to use the depth. Really great that we were able to use the depth today and just put a ton of goals in. Uh, set pieces have been huge. I think we've scored almost all our goals off the set pieces today. Vandergeg off the corner. Diego Paul Diego Paulo is like multi-cross goal. And then Julian off that uh, the other corner. We're there. There's no way you can get that shot through. That was a pretty darn good hit. Wow, that is such a dangerous free kick position. Holy smokes. Uh-oh. He's offside. Oh, pff, we're fine. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. What are we hoping for in the other game? Yeah, a draw would be great. Because we want to win the league, to be honest. You obviously, quali like, promotion's by far the most important thing, but we also want to win the league. Ah, oh, come on, Noose. You had the pass there. Uh, first change is getting... Um, Yulian Ramirez off for Ruben Marquez. And I will take our closing down and drop it to slightly more urgent from the incessant swarm of bees that we create defensively normally. Uh, now we will turn on some time wasting and turn our directness or our, our tempo down so that we are holding our fitness and now we will make two more changes which would be Lotaro Kiros uh, no it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be Conde it wouldn't be Brash it would be oh I don't know if we really set ourselves oh, that's just stupid of me we didn't really set ourselves up for the substituting that we wanted to do Uh, we'll take Mendez off and put Tiago Noose up there. So let's give Noose a chance to be a forward. Just a little moving around. Ivan Nielsen moves up the wing. Jaguerme fills in. So, oh, well, that's okay. That's totally not what we confirmed, but whatever. Noose should be playing striker, but he's not just for this highlight. He's playing left back. All part of the experience, you know, you gotta play every every position on the field. I honestly didn't think he was offside. I'm kinda su I was surprised when the whistle went off. Madhouse, he's got noose. Come on. Make it happen.
I would love to get him off the mark before these huge games. Looks like Yu Niao is beating Lusitana Lavora right now, which is kind of... That's the worst possible result because if Lusitana Lavora beats... Oh my goodness. Lusitana Lavora is now winning. They must have just scored a quick fire double. Because that's good. That means we're like almost six points ahead of Yu Niao. Which means we beat them again. We create like serious separation. Guys, can we just not? They really should have a goal right now. Like, can you just not do that? <laughs> Uh, just bringing Afonso Valente for Tiago News. Because we are going to be playing Tiago News. And Valente is also going to be playing, but this isn't going to matter. He's playing for five minutes. Yeah, boy, Prezeris, way to get rid of that ball. Emphatic. He might have not been offside. That's fair. They had a ton of XG for not scoring, but good win, guys. Uh, here we go. Lusitano Lavora for top of the league. That's what this match is. I think they just, they came from behind and beat Yunyao. Eighty fourth and eighty sixth minute. Un unreal. I'd be furious if I was Yunyao. 84th and 86th minute in like the biggest match of the season. Uh, they deserve a reward? No, we have to strike a balance. We need to train and prepare ourselves for this run of matches. Uh, it's a good feeling when everything comes together like it did today. Julian Ramirez was on a hat trick. It's confident the game is won. We got big matches coming. Joe Silva was in fine form. He had a good solid game. Yeah, it's, we have good backup fullbacks. Yes. He is a backup, right? Joe Pinto is definite, or not Joe Pinto, Claudio Tavares. Definitely a more skilled player, but you know, Gilles Silva is a guy we can put on the field and we know he's going to be able to deliver us a good performance. Uh, oops. Such resolve to hit that ball. He hit it with conviction. I mean, you can just tell the heart that he has. I mean, the way he ran up to that ball and just gave it the business. You know, that's, that's really what it's all about. It, it's, I mean, it brings a tear to the eye. It does. That type of you know, f that type of follow-through determination. Shell Silva, you're off. Thank you for playing a good match. Shell Pinto, you're in for Ivan Nielsen. Uh, then Paulo, Holland, Kiros, Marquez, but that's not actually what it is because Amine Adli is hiding somewhere. And he's coming in for Kiros, and he's coming in for Prezeris, who's the substitute winger. Uh, and the team is set. The team is ready to go. Let's go, boys. <laughs> match of the season so far. The match of the season. Have you read the Polisic GQ article? No, I haven't, actually. Is that an O... Is that an Orion you know, Dragon shirt you're wearing? No, this is a fourth-tier tie shirt. Which I know is your second guess, uh, but you, but yeah, you, sh you should have gone with your second guess. Well, now we are five points clear of Uniel going into a match against Lusitano Lavora. That's going to you know, would give us an opportunity to grab a two point advantage at the top of the league. Larusa. Lusitana Avora is the team that's in 20th. Wish I was playing Lusitana Avora. I am playing Lusitana La Russa. Six points out of these two matches, and we have taken a massive step towards getting to the Portuguese second division. With little old Oriental Dragon, you know? Dude is outrageously good for his star rating. I, I, lit I just cannot get over it. Now, Kennedy, I look at him a second time and I, I know that he's not the guy that we want here, but. That nine first touch is just really surprisingly bad. He 
Felix Matos, I'll give him a 45. I'll give him a 45. Brash, I'll give a 45 to. Ivan Diaz is going to get a full 90. Yeah, that would amaze. Sabral. Yeah, he should, he should be in there, too. Let's make these guys available. Fluid counterattacking team, Lusitano. Okay. I really should break this down. I, uh, they can see a lot. Dude, look at how it, look at where our dot is for our offense. My goodness. Aggress we're so far in the aggressive cl that's insane. That is insane, dude. We well, can barely see the dot. It's in the words. The dot is in the words. You take a load of shots and convert at a higher rate than everybody else. Mercy me. Lusitano Vora plays a tight game. All right. Let's do this. Match prep done. Squad selected. Training set. Even the reserves friendly has been set and ready to play. What are your training recommendations? I let the game do it and then go in and make changes to the training when I see fit. Uh, but I don't micromanage it. And I am working on some research uh, to, to figure out the best ways to train. I just, um, that research is not done yet, obviously, because the video hasn't come out, so. And I'll, I'll do some praising for Fong Ping, too. Fong Ping is uh, not developing as well as we hoped. Changes they think we should make. Marquez over there, really? And they literally want to switch the two midfielders. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, Vanessa. Positive atmosphere around the club. Contributed to the strong run of form. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're very strong mentally. Trial question. Recent reports suggested that you're keen on making Luca Vandergig stay a permanent one. Look, I mean... There's definitely some interest from our side, of course. He's a starting player for us. We'd love to have him at the club permanently. Um, uh, I'll speak to him if necessary. We'll handle it like professionals. Yeah, there's a large swell of uh, support from fans. Direct approach. I have to strike a balance, but that's something we look to do. Yeah, absolutely. Philip! Philip! That's silver bacon for Philip Eigner. Thank you so much for the six months as part of the hammers. I'd like to, like to think they'd stand by him. I'd send a much needed positive message. Um, now I'm not going to comment on those rumors. I'm not, I'm not going to comment on these coaches. I don't know who they are. I seriously, I don't even know who they are. This is the match that everybody's tuning into in the Portuguese third division. The top two teams in the Portuguese third division separated by a point, five points clear of the table. This is uh, it's gonna be one heck of a match. Are you doing your coaching badges? No. I don't necessarily have uh, huge aspirations to be a manager in real life. I do realize that if, you know, the YouTube continues to take off and be fun and like the, a natural progression of that is at some point I'm going to end up coaching a real club in some fashion, maybe as a joke, you know, 
but I, I never had aspirations to be a manager in real life. I like I, you know, I wasn't that good a player. We're home against La Russa. And then on the on the road against Uniao de Santorum. And then we've got another top 10 team in Ulhanens after that. <sighs> Doing the badges may give you more insight as a commentator. I suppose that's fair. Also, Klopp wasn't a great player. I guess that works. That makes sense. Who knows? Maybe 20 years from now, I'll be laughing at this while I'm the coach of Manchester United. But right now, that's not something that I, I see in my future, necessarily. Finally, I managed to get out of my seven-match losing streak. Yes, Lupo! All done. Klopp was a t Klopp was a second Bundesliga legend for mines. Yeah, but they were all better than me. That's the thing. They weren't good players, but they were definitely better than me. Remember us when you're swimming in that Premier League money? Oh yeah. Is there a bug with the youth intake? My sixth season with Sunderland, my last two in youth intakes, uh, and this seasons have just been terrible to the point that none of them are worth signing. That's not a bug. That's just the way youth intakes work, Haji Paji. Sometimes you just get duds. Grease Peter. Thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers, Reese Peter. Make sure you enjoy the bacon. I, c I demand you enjoy the bacon, the emotes, and all that fun stuff going on. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord as well to take full advantage of being a hammer. Longest I've ever managed a team? Uh, probably 15 years in football manager. I don't know. Not too long. What's up, FM Jono? How you doing? Yu and Yao just drew too. They pulled out a they played Olhanens and pulled out a draw. Olhanens is out here just competing. So Yu and Yao has opened the door here. If we win, we are eight points clear of non-promotion places, and we are two points clear at the top of the table. Bozeris is cleared. The Tavares picked up that injury, of course, the blisters right before the game, which means. It ruins our entire plan, the fact that he just got hurt. I don't know why my brain didn't process the fact that he was hurt until literally right now, but it just did, and Joe Silva is in. We're going to have to be a little more tepid with him because he's definitely not fit, and Guillerme is going to have to play at some point later in this game, but we want to get 60 minutes from Joe Silva first. That sucks, dude. Longest ever run without losing, 49, Legia Warsaw. I mean, in the league alone with Bate, I mean, it was like 130 consecutive league games with Bate, and then we actually did lose. The Chi I don't have any Chinese players on my team right now. So, no, they don't play because they're not on the team. Longest run without winning, can't be longer than three or four. I don't know, I've never... Yeah, I mean, you get fired if you lose too many in a row. Like, seriously, if you lose five games in a row, you're on the hot seat. I don't care who you are. If you lose five games in a row, you're on the hot seat. FM John, thank you for the two bits, man. And Dallas, thank you for the two months. Sup, dude? Not much. Celebrating you being back in the hammers for a second month with Jeff Bezos money. Nice flex. No, I mean, you get what I'm saying, Brooks, is that you can't, like, string a ton of losses together. You get fired. I've been fired before everybody gets fired this game sometimes the snowball gets rolling down the wrong side of the hill
Gods! We come to you today with the biggest matches of this save before us. We are playing today not only did Jinkster for converting their prime into a tier one sub, but we are praying for the opportunity to make you proud. We have scored more goals than anyone could even conceive in this division. We're a goal machine. We do this in your honor and deserve, we deserve Promotion and silverware for this team, for Eric Mendez to join your hall of saints and stuff. Ho, oh, FM gods! Grant us the strength that we ho so dutifully have earned in our dedication to you. In the name of Joe Lewis, Johnny Cano. Wilker Farinez and Emmanuel Buxo, we pray. Amen. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We prayed to the FM gods. We splashed the water on the camera. We've got the guys that we want on the bench. We've got a uh, basically a full so strength team. Streams. Sorry, Zed here now, tough. No, you're good, Tolston, and you're, you got here at just the right time. Thank you for the three months, and welcome to the TTS. Congrats on cooking your bacon. We got the hype train going. We're into the match. The chat believes. We believe. They're a little tired, too. Godfried Frimpong. Brunorish. No, I doubt he's tired. Um... We definitely want to tackle Andrezinho hard. He is tired. He does not move particularly well. We've got athletes in the back line. I feel like we're going to be able to keep track of him here. We're not dealing with explosive athletes. That guy's a good dribbler, though. Yeah, here's to hoping Noose does something. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe he's getting into the match. He really just jumped in, and all of a sudden, he's been thrust into the team. And Claudio Tavares... Claudio Tavares is not available at right back because of those blisters he picked up the day before the match, but we're ready to go. I uh, expect nothing but a win from this match. Uh, Y'all, I have faith in you. You know that. All three of you know that. All three of you know that. We've lit a fire under the lads. 13 hammers. 13 months for Matt Gamer Guy. Dude, that's over a year. You're, you're a legend, Matt. The gold bacon is looking really good. <sighs> Claudio Tavares misses due to injury. Uh, these things happen. It's up to the squad to make sure we don't miss him too much. Uh, you approaching the task of breaching the third division's best defense. We believe we can beat them because we can. We believe we can beat them because we can. This is what the people want. This is what we want. The two best teams on the field with an opportunity to settle this. An opportunity to settle it. The league's best offense against the league's best defense. And as things always happen, that means this is probably going to be determined by how my defense plays against their offense. But here we go. We're underway. In the match of the season. And it's at our park. It's good header by Vandergeg. We've gone with the Vandergeg cost of pairing at center back. We've left Felix Matos on the bench despite a couple of good showings. Because I feel like you know, we just need quality. And Matthouse doesn't have the quality on the ball. And it's not like we're dealing with speedsters up there anyways. Keep that mark. Keep the mark. There we go. Now we got the midfield mark and the attacking midfielder. That's good. All right. A tepid half chance. Oh, Valente, he's got him. What a ball. Eric Mendez. Eric freaking Mendez. 
Ah, oh, went for the chip. Alfonso Valente picked him though. What a pass. What a pass that was. Oh, I like this. Pinto's so good too. What a ball. I say that a lot. I do. Ever wide. Wasn't a good first step, but he did get going. It's proper defending. Proper defending by Valente. And Conde away, and we're in. I mean, Adley's got the pace, the playmaking, go. It's a dream spot for him. Oh, ref, ref! We don't get an advantage on that? Referee! Not a boy, Valente. Mendez. Oh, noose. It was a good pass, but it was unnecessary. He had a better chance if he just went himself. I'm happy with the way he delivered the pass. I'm not happy with the decision he made to make it. He's trying to appease his teammates too much. You know, he's new to the team. He's got to be assertive. Pinto. Oh, he's got him. We look good, though. We definitely we definitely look and feel good. Oh, is he? Is he he's in. Oh, my God. The, the, the gods of our team. <laughs> the gods of our team. Yuli and Ramirez and Eric Mendez, they've had some looks at the goal. Well, they want to bring in Madhouse to the right back position. I don't I don't agree with that. Uh, but we are just waiting to get to halftime. Silva's gonna give us 15 more minutes, and then we go to uh Jao Guillerme. Oh, oddly. Dang it. I mean, hey, oddly's got the injury. Uh, we deserve to win this match, so let's go do it. Um Abdullah Conde, I know I can yell at you. Maybe else I want to yell at? Oh, you. Uh, not happy with your performance today. Come on, Amine. Oddly, I can't. I have faith in you. I can't yell at him because he doesn't take to that well. He does not take to that well. You gotta know your team. Amine Oddly doesn't like being yelled at. It doesn't make him play better. Now, Yulian Ramirez, Abdullah Conde, those are those are some tough cookies. They can take it. Oddly's a bit of a he's a bit of a cupcake, but he's very good. All right, Silva's tapped, so time to go to Guillerme. Our right, third string right back. Joao Guillerme. Been on the team since the beginning, one of those lads. Oh, it'd be beautiful if it was a set piece. Step. Uh, we're not. Oh, he is going to get to it. It's freaking Pinto that got back. Valente, Ramirez. That's all right. The counter press just forced him into a bad ball. The twig, Luca Vandergeg. He's there first. Okay. Sandra looked a little uncomfortable there. And it showed with his pass. That's ours. Oh, come on, Noose. Run. Just run. Just run. Stop looking for the pass. Could work to get into that position, but not enough. Oh, what a pass by Sandro. Oddly, he's got him! Yes! Come on! Yeah, baby! Come on, Julian! Smash! Smash it! <sighs> this pass by Sandro, look at that pass. That's the real composure right there. And then the ball over the top, and Julian, that is a... That's a sensational goal against the league's best defense. That pass from Sandro took a dangerous situation, put it in. Godfred Frimpong being tired, he couldn't get back. Yulian just destroyed the ball. Wow. Okay. Oh, Guillerme. A little short. We're there. 
Vandergeg, baby. Let's go. Good recovery by Vandergeg. Um... All right, news off for Pedro Prezeris. Fresh legs in that spot. Oh, boy. Oh, this is what we want right here. He's got options both sides. Come on, Noose. Dig deep. You're about to come off. I'll just take it. Now pass. He's just not... He's not been precise yet. It's the tactical familiarity and it's learning the team. He's not been precise. I think Prezeris is going to give us a better last 20 minutes than Noose would. And we're holding the third sub because Oddly's in there. What point do you kind of step off and invite them to come forward a little more? Okay, so we're going to get Amine Oddly. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to go up for Prezeris and then he goes over here. And then Valente stays wide. We go back to positive, we turn on some time wasting, we turn the tempo down, and we bring this line back that way. We have Oddly in the middle, and we can go for Joe Holland, who is an excellent kind of box-to-box -box type of player. Help us see this out. Play Guillerme. Decent ball. Man, that was a... That would have been a wicked goal. That would have been a wicked goal. Hi, ah, Eric just tweaked his groin. Nice. Good time for that. Hey, yo, Jean Guillerme. Nice job. He is his second appearance all year, Jean Guillerme. And uh, he's stepped up and dealt... I'm not going to oversell it, but that's um, undeserved and painful, and it's particularly painful the way that it happened because that was all on the keep, and he's had a good season. But that was all on the keep. All right, let's get Prezeris up there and just do a double... Um, Guillerme actually has a turn of pace, so we'll just see if he can get up there and be influential, but wow, that hurts. Missing our other chances. Missing our other chances. Boo! I mean, it's the... Boo! He just missed it. That was uh, his ball to claim. It landed two yards away from the goal, and he just flat out missed it, and uh, that's that. Penalty? That would be nice. Draw doesn't do much for us here. Uh, draw does not do much for us, which is uh, it's a shame. Because we uh, we now are we're aware that we're better than this team, that we are better than Lusitana Lavora. Because we are, we're better than them. I think we prove that, even if we're not going to win this game. I think we oh play him, come on, just go. He's too, he's just he's just pulled up. He's too tired. He's just too tired. It's going to be a 1-1. One, one. <sighs> totally could have won that game. And this is all just because the keeper missed the ball. I mean, we'd held them down so effectively throughout the course of the game. Aye, aye, aye. So close to putting ourselves top of the league. This performance harshly dropped, but yeah, I mean they just can't run as much if they're if they're the red heart meters. Uh we have a chance to win every game with the goal scoring potential. Mendes didn't have much luck in front of goal. What do you think that was? Um He missed some chances, but that happens, but like he competes hard, he sacrifices a lot for the team and uh yeah, we were there. We just, uh, we didn't take it. So pulled groinies out for the next match. Uh, Oddly, he's going to need training rest in order to... 
Amine Adli is going to need training rest in order to play in the next match. Eric Mendez will not be able to play in the next match. So we will be running Tiago Noose with Prezeris on the wing. Oddly there. So we're going to hope that we can play Amine Oddly in this next one. Then Prezeris off the wing and Tiago Noose playing next to Julian Ramirez. He might be back from his, his other stuff. Who knows? So close. And then Nazinho makes a reappearance on the bench, our wing sub. <sighs> Shoot, man. Oh. Someone spare me some channel points. I lost all of a need to feed my family. So this is where we are. I think it's time we teetered over to some Red Dead. Played some Red Dead Redemption, but this is where we are right now. Uh, we've got 18 matches left in the season. We are a point off the top of the table and six points clear uh, in promotion position, which is our goal this season, obviously. So, oh man. Then we're not going to get another bite at him. That's what's killing me. Did we beat him last time we played them? That would make me feel better. What do you mean we didn't play him already? Oh, we drew them. Oh, my. No! have drawn Lusitana Lavora twice and the same guy scored a 90th minute goal to equalize both times dance it off chat dance it off The ultimate jam out song necessary to cleanse the chakras. All right, guys. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's dust this off, you know. Get ourselves ready to hit the planes. Ugh. Okay. I got a, uh, we got some new giddy up. Listen to that, that fine fabric right there. I think we're ready for a little Red Dead Redemption, don't you? It's nice little frills, huh? Did he get promoted? Uh, no, he did not. Well, he still could and honestly should from this position. We're favorites. We're favorites to get promoted. Huge peanut butter and jelly sandwich about to be acquired by my stomach right here. But no, not yet. We've not been promoted yet. There's no, uh, no promotion happening here. Nothing, boss. And we will start tomorrow's football manager section with Uniao. De Santarim. What kind of jelly? Dude. 
What kind of jelly do you think? It's rock, dude. If you haven't watched a Red Dead stream before, I'm gonna need you to get in your Southern mindset here. It's grape jelly, yes. What are you eating? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I just said. We're rocking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 